come over here. Oh, hello. Oh my god, that's nice. Such a shot. Oh, game. Oh, baby. Baby. dead hello everybody welcome back happy wednesday joining the uh streaming folk of twitch and youtube midweek this week i took monday off after doing uh saturday and sunday with the 100k sub celebrations it was lots of fun hope you all enjoyed that if you tuned in if you want to catch up on it you can go and check the vods they're up on the youtube channel uh, we did a day of crazy PUBG stuff on Saturday and a day of World of Tanks on Sunday, which was uh, actually loads of fun. Uh, with Lamb and Chewy joining me for that as well, which was uh, which was excellent. Prom, how you doing, sir? Justin, a welcome. Xbox Traitor, welcome. Rogue, a welcome. Chandy, how you doing? You need new intro videos. I've seen all these ones. No, I like this one. <laughs> you just have to enjoy it. Uh, what's up, Sasuke? How you doing? Hope you enjoy the stream since somewhere. How's it going, Lindsay Carr? How's it going, Gypsy Outlaw? Welcome. YouTube very chatty this morning. This morning, this afternoon. Love that. What's up, Ronnie? We're going to do some solos today. I haven't done solos for a while. The queue's probably going to be a bit slow as it tends to be, but we'll, you know, we'll persevere. We can just have a nice chat while we wait for the queues. And, um, you know, we'll see how we get on. I like a little solo game. They're quite hit and miss, but I suppose that's kind of all PUBG really, isn't it? I've switched up to using the M4 in my little training rather than the barrel because I thought I'd probably be using the M4 a lot because I've got this fancy skin on it. But I don't know. I'll see how I feel. I've got this cool skin on it now, but I also kind of feel like I'll probably do better with the barrel. We're having a nice little run of, you know, barrel games, really. Um, up until I got this fancy pants skin. I mean, my barrel skin's quite nice as well, in fairness. But 
that doesn't sound funny when you say barrel skin. Whereas when you say M4 skin, you know, kind of funny. Hey Planes, how you doing? Good to see you mate. Nice and bright and early. How's the beard look in the YouTube mirror? Yeah, it's nice, mate. I've got it up in front of my, my silver play button arrived from YouTube last week, if you didn't see it already, for 100,000 subs. I've got that now on the wall in front of me, behind my desk in Pride of Place. It looks fantastic. I spent the last couple of days redecorating my office, so it's all been freshly painted here. Not that you get to see fucking any of it. But um, I feel better because this room now looks nice rather than a massive chateau with a green screen and a desk in it. So um, so that's nice. And I also sorted out my garage because I noticed that all of the wooden shelving on my rack in the garage had gone, got really moldy from a bit of damp. So I had to, to clear all of the racking in the garage, all of the shelving in the garage, clean all of the mold off treat it dry it paint it with some mold resistant shit it's been a busy couple of days but i got a lot of shit done and now i'm back here to pubg it up as long as i like it exactly traitor exactly that's what counts it's nice to go into a room that's like this is a nice room to go into right rather than oh this is a mess especially you know your work your, your whole day is spent in in your office right if you're an office based person like what I am. What's up, Marcin? How you doing? Let's do another one of these and then we'll get in the queue because it might take a little while. So hopefully Nacho's been keeping you entertained for the week so far. He doesn't stream on Wednesdays, unfortunately, so I can't do games with him today. Um, so we have to endure solos and see how we get on. But I will do some games with them hopefully uh, next week. I'll be streaming on Friday. Uh, Patreon squads on Friday this week. Kind of back to business as usual um, for the remainder of this week. Next week's going to be disrupted because I'm away. Uh, we're going away on Tuesday. So um, there won't be a stream Wednesday and Friday next week. There'll be no Patreon squads next week. But uh, there will be a Monday stream, and then the week after we should be back to back to normal. All is fine except the weather plus two and rainy, mate. It's just been it's so wet here. It was pissing it down this morning, still pissing it down now. I looked in my weather app; it said it's going to be raining for like the next six days or something. So um, so that's nice. I don't mind, like, going out in a bit of rain. It's just annoying walking the dog in a bit of rain because he's like a fucking sponge. You know, he just soaks it all up. We need to uh, trim him down. We're going to try cutting the, our dog's hair ourselves. We had a really good groomer who's been grooming him for, like, four years, maybe. Maybe even longer than that. And she just moved house and decided to... She lived around the corner. She moved house and stopped grooming now. So we'd have to find a new groomer or try and do it ourselves. And I'm like, oh. Finding new groomers is going to be difficult and he might just try and like bite them. So we bought some doggy clippers and we're going to have a look on YouTube and we're going to we're going to trim them up. So you might see some photos of our dog looking horrendous soon. It's easy. We do it. Yeah, I think it'd be OK. He's quite small. Just, you know, I've done my beard enough times. It's just like doing a big beard, right? Except it's shaped like a dog. There's a lot of similarities. One more of these and then we'll go. Actually, should we do it with the other? I like the other one we do. My other routine. Not sure we need quite that many rounds. Try a golden retriever that's not only a sponge, but an animal that believes it should live in muddy puddles. Yeah. <laughs> My neighbor's got a retriever. Um... And he's a, he's a lovely boy. I do love retrievers. I've done it before. Nothing fancy, but got it done. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. We don't need, like, a fancy cart. We're not entering him in crufts or anything. We don't give him, like, the full traditional schnauzer cut. With the... Um, they have, like, a, the, the, the cruft style schnauzer cut. as like, the skirt. If you know what I mean. If you're a doggy person. So, like, the kind of... Uh, the, at their 
where the sort of side meets their tummy, you'd have it like longer there, so it kind of hangs down like a kind of, you know, a sort of a, a skirty bit around around their sides. But we don't bother with that. Like fuck that. So most of it's just like normal. We just need to keep his beard a bit longer and his um, voluptuous eyebrows. But other than that, like whatever, just cut his hair, be fine. If anyone like comments on it, if it looks terrible and someone comments, we just say, oh yeah, we got a new groomer and oh god, they're terrible, yeah. Hey Dowser, how you doing? You can, can't you? You can, you can what? Cut, cut your own, cut your own dog's hair? Go your own way? Dig it? I just had to take a moment to understand what you were saying there, Planes. Cock zone is hard. <laughs> Gotta use scissors to get the piss crusted bit off and be careful not to circumcise the animal. Thanks, that's good advice. <laughs> Can't believe you just wrote that down at 7 a.m. I think well we I think we'd we'd bath him. We'd bathe him first, so it wouldn't be it would you know it wouldn't be so crusty <laughs> that's too early to be talking about pissing crusted dog cocks on stream uh hey nick any concrete wars today um no no just solos today it was a lot of fun wasn't it the concrete wars i'd like to do it again sometime it'd just be difficult we'd have to try and do it like you need the numbers i mean it was still quite fun when we did about 30 people at the end with with chewy and lamb but it was crazy when we did it with um uh like we had 50 or 60 people earlier on which was absolutely absolutely nuts the stream title you can yes i think you can that's the answer if you needed the answer to the question the youtube title the answer is yes if you don't want to watch the whole stream basically the answer is yes it was so serious surrealistically superb it was fantastic wasn't it yeah i very much enjoyed it uh, let's just get in the queue. We shot some stuff, right? Be fine. Gonna get my stream demonetized talking about things like that. That'd be four dollars I never see again. Right. Um bu, 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 G coin status I've got sixty nine thousand nine hundred bonus G coin expires in thirty one plus days. Should be fine. Um what I was trying to do was this. Were there any reports of old gen consoles spontaneously combusting on Friday? No, I think Generally, the games seem to hold up quite well, remarkably, um, on on Saturday. Oh, yeah, on Saturday. I was amazed. Mine didn't crash at all. I know a couple of people's did, but um, mostly we we did okay. It's kind of mad that, like, we did all the stuff on... Why do I always get nighttime for Kendi when I'm, like playing solos these days honestly hang on i can turn me i know how to turn the brightness up even higher on my monitor now we're gonna do that nighttime vikendi mode crank that up to max there we go not uh, it's not night time anymore bitches hey lizzie how you doing feel free to use any of my quotes in your wedding vows thank you i will <laughs> yeah like when we were playing on saturday and we had, you know, dozens and dozens of um, concrete blocks falling out of the air. Let me find a clip so you can get some context here for anyone who didn't see. this sort of um but but this bit this is what we're doing on saturday 
It's, all, it's a lot of people down on this, this little cliff edge is working well. They've been rolling down into the water. Still one one car left. I think that's the only the only car that has made it. I mean, look at the absolute... I'm sorry to ignore the play zone for a minute, <laughs> but look at the absolute state of this. The entire map. You can see, like, the root of the play zone. Just, like, this huge mess of barricades. There's a lot. There's a lot of concrete there. Culminating in... in this. Like, what I was... I was astounded that, like, we did ones with even more than that. I was astonished that, like, my Xbox was able to handle it in any way, shape, or form. And then it's kind of funny that, like, when you're playing PUBG normally, like, it's able to handle that with, like, hundreds, if not a thousand plus of those concrete barricades down on the ground at once, you know, all rendered in over a huge distance. And yet you can be in a town and see a building that's, like, 200 meters away and it's not properly rendered in. You're like, how does how this how is that one of those things able to work and the other thing isn't? Seems and and also the concrete blocks are like you can interact with them like they're not static. Like once if you hit them with a vehicle, then um, you know they move slightly. So there's you know there's physics there as well. It's um, yeah, it's pretty pretty nuts. Well, because PUBG exactly. I mean that's very well. Very well summarized. Concrete blocks and the great escape for Furious Buggy. Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed that one when I was run when we lost our vehicle and I had to run in. Was was just brilliant. That was one of my favorites. Because like on demolition derby modes that we'd done before, you never would have been able to get into the zone in a million years like that you you die within like 30 seconds because there's so many vehicles trying to run you over oh blimey i've already pulled up my emote menu by accident it's not a good start but like on that mode it um it's quite lively on that mode there's just so many concrete barriers around you're kind of all right i mean smg thank you How's that stomach? It's literally on the other side of a wall. Uh. It is. Well, the stun in this game is just wild sometimes. We're like <laughs> against a wall. Stun goes off in the middle. <clears throat> Full stun. We found the truth. PUBG servers are connected to flip phone internet. They did quite well. I mean, uh, there was, it didn't lag out. We didn't have performance issues. It was Saturday was, yeah, quite surprising. Because we used to see a lot of issues when we um, did like blue zone grenade early only. With porters only on Tago, and when you have like 30 porters driving around a small area, they start glitching out like crazy, and the roofs do this weird like graphics thing and going all over the screen. So yeah, for the concrete to work how it did was um was quite quite remarkable. But nice to be back today. We'll see how we get on with solos. It's going to be interesting to see how PUBG goes over the next couple of months. I think the solo sessions are quite challenging these days just because matchmaking is so slow. It makes it quite a um, quite a slog. But you can normally get one or two like decent games. But you have to sit here for five hours to grind out one or two decent games. I mean, you do if you're my level. But the... Um, yeah, the Monday duo with two mans or the duo sessions rather in that too have been a lot of fun lately. And the Patreon squads particularly have been uh, have been excellent, it has to be said. Looking forward to doing some more of that on Friday. If you want to get involved, check out the Patreon page. Exclamation mark Patreon in chat. You can find out all you need to know. And you can come play some squad games.
be interesting to see what we get in the next update from PUBG. The last one was, um, you know, a bit of a little bit of nothing really. wasn't the most exciting, apart from changes to matchmaking, which changed things up quite a lot. Quite a lot. I was looking back on the update video or the stream vod from the other day that I did with Nacho, and I was like, I don't really know what I can upload from this. It's just like, <laughs> it's just us asking about trying to figure out how the climbing mechanic thing works. Has anyone used the team assisted climb? Since last week when it came out, has anyone used it in anger particularly? Be interested to know uh, how people are getting on with that. Waiting on solos can be brutal. Yeah, the queues are really slow. But I don't really like playing one-man squads. I tried to use it to get a care package on top of a building, but it was a tiny bit too high. Nope. Unlikely I ever will. How do you do it? What buttons? You have to crouch and then you press the limited interact key, which is the same key you use to pick up knocked players. By default, I think that's LB and X, but you might have changed it. And then if a teammate walks up to you, then they'll get an option to press A and you'll like make them kind of jump over your head. But it's a really small, like, you know, it. It's a really small window between things you can... Like, this would be a good example of something you could get on with it. There's very little in the game that is slightly higher than you can jump to, but not much higher. Like, that I think you could probably do with the team-assisted jump. But, like, I don't know, that maybe would be too high, I think. Possibly you could get to that. I think you'd be pushing it. But it's, you know, that's the kind of... Roughly that to that is kind of the entire window of height that is any use for it. And that's a very small set of things in PUBG. Uh, I think what's probably more useful is the um, the vehicle mantling thing. Was definitely more useful. Because now you can just properly mantle onto vehicles. So you, rather than having to kind of jankily sort of hop onto a UAZ from something else. You can just park a UAZ next to a building. Mantle straight onto the roof of that. Then jump onto the roof from the UAZ. And that's going to just be a lot easier than, um, you know trying to do like team assisted whatever so yeah it's kind of a nice sounding feature but in, i think in reality it's very very limited in its in its use i want a ducati skin update well, i'm sure we probably will see other like vehicle manufacturer you know brand deals we've had aston martin we've had mclaren you know who knows what we could see next Maybe we'll get to Catty. What's up, Jeebs? How you doing? Hey, Carlos. How you doing, mate? Morning. Don't forget, Dacia. What about it? You can climb on top of that as well. You can climb on top of anything. UAZ, though. I, I mentioned UAZ because it's particularly good for climbing on top of stuff because it's so tall. So if you pull a UAZ up next to a building, you can like, you know, get on top of that. You can get on top of something a lot, get on top of something a lot higher than you would with a, a Dacia. Ba, 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 ba. Burning plane. My screen is so bright now. Oh, in terms of car skins that are, were featured. Did they have like a, a sponsored Dacia thing? Or you mean just because there's a Dacia in the game? Hey, Darp, how you doing? I mean, there's the, um, is that what the, um, the porter is? Yeah, I mean more like in terms of, you know, a big, like, campaign thing rather than just here's a car that's permanently in the game with whatever brand written on it. You know, like the big McLaren thing they did and the big Aston Martin thing they did. Excuse me. Small Tammy. Oh, I tried a brilliant jump there. We didn't really... Come down quick enough. Busy. Few lads. Got his Choco Taco parachute. Hello. 
Hey, buddy. I killed a guy. Oh, did I pick up the ammo for this? Okay. switched the wrong thing out there already, didn't we? Doo -ba -doo -doo, looting all the wrong things. Where did everyone go? Oh, there's a man. You see me? I want this ammo. Oh, this guy shoots at me. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Lee. How you doing? You're just going to be on this wall. Thanks, buddy. There we go. Oh, unlucky. Got him a bit stunned, but half HP gonna be tough. Hey Sparky, how you doing? Uh Criminy, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, first time back for a week. Any chance you could summarize the update in 30 seconds? Um, it's just, it's, don't worry about it. There's nothing interesting. Rondo's not in crazy matchmaking anymore, so you get normal matchmaking. Uh, Muckadine, how you doing? Welcome. Got busy, didn't it? Uh, you can climb onto vehicles. This probably summarizes the update. Oh, straight in. Nice. A bit of an angle. Lovely jubbly. New update. Nothing to see here. Yeah, there wasn't anything particularly exciting in it. I would say. Do you think they'll ever spawn a helicopter for full team access? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. But never say never, I guess. You can now mount your teammates. You can. But it's, yeah, m mostly useless. We can demo it on Friday.
I feel like the pings got kind of shitty on EU servers again. I don't know if it's the same in NA. Like my ping, we're at like 50 to 70 now. Normally my ping would be like 5 to 20. So pretty, um, pretty high ping. I don't know if they've moved the servers or just shitty servers. Less money to spend on servers. Who knows? I'm going to get a good chuckle asking anybody if I can mount him to a window. <laughs> I recall the custom where that island was the destination. People were smashing gliders and such everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a couple of good ones there. We also did one where we tried to make it finish there with BRDMs only. But it accidentally finished over there in the sea. But it ended up being pretty great. And there was like boats and BRDMs in a random little rectangle in the sea. In the end zone. <laughs> we can make it. Good times. Bit spicy view, isn't it? Go back to first person. Rectangle in the sea. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice game mode. I like it. I like the weird play zone ones. I feel like they should put sea monsters in. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Just if you go down too deep, just some massive fuck off fish attacks you. Pop that one in PUBG and that'd be great. Players would like that. Maybe just in the pre-game lobby, just for a bit of fun. Keep it interesting. Oh, what is this garbage plane? Jesus. Hey, Colorize. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. What you call me? Garbage planes. Hey, that was my nickname at high school. Wasn't this supposed to be a crocodile in Tago? Yeah, that was definitely a um, a thing they were going to do at one point, wasn't it? It was in like a, a teaser video or something, and it never happened. I think it got bumped to becoming um, polar bears on uh, Vikendi or whatever. <laughs> I just kind of jumped out for a random place because I couldn't be asked with um, trying to find anywhere else. Oh. If you're not smiling, Classic balls to drop you. Gun, the M16. What a great Absolutely beard hate. month for TBG. I want that gun. Oh my god, this room's full of guns. Sure, let's we'll just commit to that. Uh, Swally, thanks so much for the 33 months, mate. Appreciate the support. Sharks and Erangel. I can see the connection. Crocodiles, polar bear. Yeah, exactly. Very similar creatures. Fine. It's fine. Do I play Day Z? No, I don't play Day Z. I've played it once or twice. Is that a bot, maybe? Um, quite briefly. Many years ago, but no, not really uh not really a Day Z player. 
tell you what survival game I'm excited about. I wish it was coming. It's not coming to Xbox though at the moment. Is um, Sons of the Forest? They're releasing the one. They did an early access for Sons of the Forest last year. No, uh, yeah, last year. And then the 1.0 version is coming out tomorrow on PC. And I played a little bit with that Chewy at one point. It's super fun. It's the sequel to The Forest, which they did before. Um, but yeah, it's not on, um, not on, oh, hello, oh, man, what are you doing there, sir? Nice, it was only a bot, but whatever. I think it was a bot. It's another nice shot. But yeah, it's just, um, it's just Steam at the moment, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping it would be on Xbox, but maybe they'll consider it. Nice shot, thank you. No Nacho Wednesday. Um, and yeah, I don't think Nacho streams on Wednesdays normally, does he? Gotta let him have a day off every now and again, haven't you? Ba -ba 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 -ba. If Nacho can't make it today, I'm available till 7. Thanks. I'll, um, I'll definitely keep that in mind. <laughs> Someone down here somewhere. I don't, I'm kind of enjoying sniping people at a safe distance. I'm more comfortable doing that. <laughs> Especially with their bots. Brand. Good night. Good night. The Forest and Sons of the Forest will give them a go. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, check them out. I never played The Forest the first one, but Sons of the Forest, I played the early access last year, and it was really good fun. But yeah, like I said, it's not on... Um... Oh, hello, airplane. It's not on console at the moment. I don't know if it will at some point go on console. So yeah, I don't know what else will be. I don't know what will be the next new interesting thing. I'm kind of waiting a little bit for um, to see what updates they do with Power World. I think could be good fun. I'm hoping we'll get dedicated servers for Xbox sooner rather than later, um, and some updates for Xbox. I think could be a lot of fun. But we'll we'll see what they do with that. But that's been a giggle. It'd be nice to play it like you know with a few more people. How's old Alfie doing these days? He's a young man. Is he four now? Four? No, he's he'll be six in June. Six. Aha. Is that the crate? I think that's the crate. Oh, it's a long way away. It's on the other side of the water, I think. Uh, it's like 20-ish. And I near that compound, maybe? Daughters of the Forest next thing. That'll be the sequel. After um, the Cousins of the Forest DLC. Looking forward to it. It's quite a vague marker that. What number did I say? 10, 15, something like that. Hello. I'm not really a Pokemon fan either. I just like survival games. Survival and crafting and those kind of games are, uh, are my jam. I couldn't really give a, a rat's dick about Pokemon. Hmm. I don't know where it went. Excuse me. Have you seen the airdrop? I don't think it'd be this far back, would it? Maybe. I don't give a rat's ass! I won a solo the other day after I killed a guy who was throwing a nade. Final player pushed to his dead body and was killed by said nade. Oh, love that. I love a confusing end. Quick, 
quick shifty over here. Go and shoot this guy. Something to do. Oh, he desk popped, I think. He did a little the desk pop. I wonder if he might drive up in that compound where the other guy was. Other than PUBG, what's your favorite survival game? Well, PUBG's not really a survival game, I would say. Um, by survival game, I mean things where you, you, know, you have to, like, drink and eat and stop yourself getting cold so you're fighting against the elements, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I've had a lot of fun playing Ark over the years. Um, cow Ooh. Oh, are you on that ridge right? we just was? Excuse me, hello? Where were you? Oh yeah, I think, are you there? Yes. Come on! Honestly. Ah! Quick, stop shooting. He fired his gun at me. Ooh, headshot me. Oblivion. Oblivion 2 and PUBG is all I've played since I came out of retirement. By Oblivion 2, do you mean Skyrim? <laughs> Watching you and Nacho stream makes me want to hop in and play a game or two. I haven't played since um, Baldur's Gate 3 came out. I'd really like to play Baldur's Gate 3, but I just don't know when I'll have the time. Hey, Mickey. How you doing, mate? Will you speak to us, mere mortals, after putting up your 100k YouTube plaque? <laughs> how you doing, Rob? does look very nice. I can just glance up above the camera and it's just, I can just see it. It's very, very exciting. I feel like there's probably still a guy in this compound next to us that's just chilling there because there was a car parked up there. I mean, unless it was this guy, I suppose, but I guess it could have been. Thank you for the stuff. Do we need that? Not really. We take your M4. Yes. Turning it down? No, you don't insult the Queen, for goodness sake. She's got a hell of a job on it. It's hard work. Feels like he's going to come around for another pass. Hey, Carl, how you doing? No, he seems to have changed his mind on that. Try and get this crate. Where's my car? Did this guy have a car? He did. Oh, no. Is that my car? That's my car. Oh, that was so close. Boy, oh, so wiggly. If you're not smiling, balls to you. So wiggly, sir. Well, this guy might be pushing. How's your helmet? Oh, thank God. 
25 bandos, sir. Ooh. I put him below. Oh, is it still the same guy trying to shoot me? I think so. Okay, now. Lively here, isn't it? Different car pushing up now. <laughs> Jesus. His helmet was untouched. That must have been why he took so long to die. <laughs> I carefully avoided shooting it. I'm very smart like that. Everyone's like lasering their drive-bys today. Oh, sure. Well, we're coasting. Tactics, isn't it? Hmm, I was hoping that would keep rolling, to be honest. But sure, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take the kill. Oh, there's the lovely drop. The world's slowest K9 drive by headshot. Oh, it's a. Oh, there is a man there. He was medding. I thought he was in a funny position. <clears throat> um, Let's check this guy for a vest. We shot him in the head. Might get lucky. Hey, Rich, how you doing? Thank you. I don't really have much attachments on the old M4, but we're getting by. Well, that's the man. See ya. Anyone else up there? He was looking down into shooting range, perhaps, or thereabouts. It's a sign. It's a sign. Looking for movement in all the wrong places. See nothing. It's the sort of stage of the game where you're like, oh, if we had a level three helmet, then it just changed everything. Gonna get my bloody head taken off. Oh, there is a guy back here. Is he on the roof or just behind it? I just glimpsed him there. There he is. Hesitated too long there. Could have got a couple of shots. A couple of nice kills. Yeah, enjoying those. Hotspot. No more hotspotting. Got me internet back. Is he still on that wall? Guess so. Uh, I don't like this big ass hill they can come down behind me from, but I can't do much about that. Ooh, that's quite nasty. Can we get to that? Hill is that in? It's close to being in. We do have this guy's car here. I kind of forgot about that. So we, I might take that as a bit of cover. Or we just crash all the way into the hill supine Severni might be a better shout. Because if we end up on this mound and then it gets pushed further and we lose the tire, then we're pretty fucked, aren't we? Oh, this has lost how many tires? Only one. Psh, I've driven worse. Whoo! Please don't be anyone in there. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> straight line, driving a straight line. Yeah, we're not, we don't, I don't want to crash the town, but I want to get somewhere where if the circle shifts again, where, you know, hopefully not completely fucked. Power slide! Like this dip here is kind of what I was aiming for. Just 
content that one hit. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit further up this hill. Is that a fucking guy there? No. Get a bit more height, a bit more vision. Hey, Fixed, how you doing? Where's everyone going? Oh, God. The shot's coming in. We need a bit more cover. I wouldn't mind getting into this bit. Quite vulnerable from the town at the moment. It's a bit of an ish. Oh, getting near something solid. There's a lot of angry bikers around. <laughs> there is a guy up on this. Oh, that is it. So many cars around. We are going back towards the town. Did I see a guy there? Or something just disappeared there, right? It was like a helmet and then it disappeared. Or oh, that was a guy poking his head up. There was... Oh, is it that helmet rendering in and out? Is it just like the box is looking a bit weird? Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Could be anything. My mind's playing tricks on me. Is there a hut around here somewhere? There's the hut. It's very open, though. Other than the, the huttiness bits. The outside of the huttage, very open. I think we get back in our dip here, really, don't we? Ooh, maybe wait for someone to go in it and then shoot them. Are you going for the hut, sir? The hut play. He's a hut player. Can we play together? I play in G coins. Uh, no, you're fine. Thanks, though. There's a guy next to that. Ugh. Just sitting there tempting me in the open. <laughs> he tagged him first, then I finished him. Yo, go for the hut, mate. Go for the hut. It's not safe in there. Oh my god, he just shot him. He did. But the car guy? No, the guy in the hut shot him, I think. Uh oh. Oh, we did well. Did you just... Uh, how'd you get the extra little zoom on the scope? You hold down RB and then up and down on the left or right stick and you zoom in and out. It's not extra zoom. It's I'm zooming it out so it's less zoomed and then I'm zooming back in. Hey, Brooksy, this is my go-to drop location. The circle never finishes on it. Where do you mean, sir? I don't know when that comment was. Was that when I was scrapping up on the hill? Fun little game. Got the ball rolling. Got things started. It's been... I can't remember the last time I got killed by a shotgun that wasn't off the drop. And then they've nerfed shotguns. And, uh, so oh, Swally, sorry, mate. I completely missed the massive super chat you did while that was all going on. $50 super chat? 
play it again. Turning it Where'd down, that come you from, don't mate? insult the Queen, for goodness <laughs> sake. She's Thank got you very much. Job Jesus. It's hard work. What a great beard month. Very kind you, dude. Really appreciate the support. Massively helpful. Um, Shrimp Heaven, thank you for the 49 month resub as well. Cheers, Shrimp. Oh, we went insta straight in in the last few, didn't we? We got very lucky. Oh, look at that. 50 big ones. What's a big one? Is that a uh, a big one? Might be like a grand. That might be like 50 grand. It wasn't that. No squats. Have you pulled a hammy? No, I just decided to stop the squat thing. I think um, now I'm starting to run quite a lot of mileage. I need to prioritize like my my running fitness and stuff. So I don't want to tire out my legs by busting 50 to 60 squats on a stream when I need to be running, you know, four days a week at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it because I've got a lot of training coming up with the ultra and stuff. So I think it probably makes sense to, to leave them for now. Man, look at that. Bosh. What a start to the stream. Cheers, Swally. Back in the queue. Yeah, I never really found shotguns too much of an issue on console. I know PC players seem to be um, a lot more annoyed about them than I think console players were. So it's quite rare to see someone running it like mid to late game like that. Unless you're playing with gaming Nacho. Maybe instead of five squats, we had 5k to the next run. <laughs> Arm curls instead of squats. I wanted to join you on the weekend, but I had to be an old guy and do grown-up stuff. Congrats on the milestone. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate your support. I need to turn my brightness and my monitor back down when I'm not on... Um, Nighttime Vikendi, or it's gonna fuck my eyes up. You always run a pump or an over under shotgun. Nice. Yeah, you don't really see too many people running them late late game on console. Certainly something I rarely get um rarely get killed by. Quite an, quite an unusual example there, really. On PC, it's a lot more common for people to grab them and then drop them again. Like if you're having a fight in a house and there's a shotgun, people will just grab it and pick it up because A, it's a lot easier to loot more quickly on PC. With a mouse, you can quickly switch guns out, you know, in a fraction of a millisecond. Um, on console, it's a little bit clunkier and less accurate. And then the actual accuracy of the gun itself is, you know, obviously way, way easier on a mouse to, um, to hit a single shot than it is uh, with a controller so they're a lot more powerful on pc than they were on uh, than they are on console but obviously you know they still do the job when you're at that kind of range like we were there with that guy but it felt like it was worth a worth a try getting there and uh i wanted to get the stun through the door but he was obviously just tpping the uh the corner so i could see me reload and popped out that shows the exception. He's definitely the exception, not the rule. You can't like, you can't make judgments on PUBG players based on what that nutcase is doing. He's a wild animal. Boom, boom, boom. Fun little game there. Some nice bolty action. Hey, Wit. How you doing? Good to see you, mate. Happy Wednesday. Takes bloody forever. Eat me, sauteed on barbecue. Eat me, you want some head for now or boo? Grimini, thank you the gifty to Witty. Cheers, mate. Such a good film. It was on a few couple of weeks ago, I think. Adam's family was on it. We were watching it. Love it. That's the second one, is it? The second one where they go to the uh, the camp.
just absolutely classic. Crimini is the best. Villa! Oh, we could get out of If you're not smiling, balls to you. Beard guys sub. Carly, thank you for the 62 months. Look at that. That's a big sub. Cheers, Carly. How you doing today? Got a few lads here. But I want, now we got a game with a few kills under our belt, we can just kind of do whatever. Like, if you have your first five games getting zero kills, then you're like, oh god, maybe I've finally washed. But now we've had a few kills, so like, cool. If I have bad games now, it's just bad luck. Bad luck for you. We're going to need some more ammunition. Even already. If you leave me now. I feel like he maybe just parked that car up around the back here. Didn't sound like a full drive away to me. That's what we wanted. Hey Delta, how you doing, Messiah? You know. He knows. Um I think we go with that because stopping power, right? And then we won't also like run out of ammo for it because it's all loaded into the M249. We need a med and we need a bit more ammo. Mid. Uh, and a best scope would be lovely too. Oh, do we take the, M the M4 for my fancy? Nah, we got all this ammo. Fuck it. So I've got my fancy skin now, and I, and I, I'll have a giggle with the M249. Let's see if we can find a. A, sc a scar? A car. Someone taking another another car. I think we just have a little look on this road, see if there's anything here. We got quite a Quite a crappy scope. It'll do. They're all stealing all the cars. Hey, Memento, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. Uh, contractors in the basement today. Mrs. Witt teaching people over Zoom in the next room next door. I'm watching a dog, dog that follows me room to room. Lies down right by my office chair. Oh, I know how that feels. 
Thankfully, he doesn't really do it anymore. He used to do it a lot when he was small. I'd be so... Every time I'd... I can't wheel this chair back without checking Miraculous. behind me now because I'm so paranoid. I'm, I'm cock-a-hoop. I think it's terrific. Savage, thank you so much for signing up as an epic sub on YouTube. Absolutely legend. Great way to support the channel. Appreciate your support. Hmm. People have been stealing all the cars. Right, we're going to get roadside and then hopefully we'll see another vehicle or someone else with the vehicle. Hey, Buckin, how you doing? Well, I heard a footstep. I thought I heard a putty cat. Car. No sign of any bad guys. Two people drove away. I shot one guy. Well, if there's anyone left, they can damn well walk. Feels very weird when I move my head, where I've positioned the silver play button, like behind the camera. It kind of, when I move my head and it kind of looks like it's moving on the wall, it's very disconcerting. Either that or I'm flight having a stroke or something. Well, it kind of looks like it moves. Very unusual. Um, do you take the bike? Try and get the airdrops? It's a long way away, but we can give it a punt, can we? Or is that a freaking helicopter? It kind of... No, I'm sure I looked like a plane a minute ago. It looks like a helicopter at distance, but... I think it was a plane. This would have already dropped the crates, though. Hello. You can definitely see me there. That's a bailout. That there's no way we, there's no way we can fight this first guy that we pulled up on, and this guy is shooting me at range at the same time. It's a shame we got a nice bolty hit on the guy that was originally shooting at me. He's really keen on firing at me. I gotta gotta give him a bit of respect for that. Oh, there is no bandage. We're done with some of them. Just going to boost this out. It's a bit slightly bold, but we don't have many meds. So, are we at train station? We are. Hello, mate. I was like, what's this big building over here? And say hello to this guy. He looked like he'd be well up for a fight. Mr. Crouchy. Peter. Couldn't have got far at that speed. <laughs> Fucking self resies, honestly. This guy's gonna steal it.
Not today, baby. Not today. I hate those goddamn AEDs. Um, thank you. A lot of scopes in you, mate. A stunning victory. Yeah, went alright, didn't it? Anything else? Not really. We're pretty pretty stacked, I would say. Might as well take as much ammo as we can carry for the lols. We got frag, we got smokes. Cool. No more stuns, but sure we'll manage. There's one. One can never have too many scopes. be a good um a good bit of tactical gear right would be like a special like an in, a intel scope that when you look at people through it like the spotter scope or something when you look at people it shows you what's in their inventory from a distance when they're alive and then if you could do that you could look at someone and then if they've got like six different scopes in their inventory and 30 bandages you'd be like right i'm gonna i'm up for fighting this guy i'll take that on Fuck is that noise? Oh, is it polar bear? Yeah, I think so. Don't give me any more dumb ideas. <laughs> you can have that one, PUBG. Have it on me. I actually missed tactical gear. I had fun messing about with it. I'm kind of glad it's gone. I I wouldn't mind having some of it as like just stuff you can pick up on the map. Like you know, there was some kind of fun stuff there, but I didn't like the habit at the start of every game and pick a thing. I wasn't into that. Like. I thought that was a bit naff. Is there a man on the thing? Someone just fired a panzer. Which would suggest quite likely there is. Yes. Oh, and there's a guy on top of that with a VSS. Of course there is. I always love it after a kill when you loot them and see 11 first aid in inventory. It's the bandages that get me. I mean, 11 first aids is also a lot. Not like this. We claim some past shit. I've got the um, the M24 unlocked, but I'm not sure I can be bothered to spank 70,000 G-Coin on crates to level it up. It looks really nice when you level it up, but kind of really, I need to get it to like level 9 or 10 for it to look great. And I don't think we'll do that with 70,000 G-Coin, which is kind of hilarious, right? Hilarious and awful. Because like the, le look, the level 10 looks great, but the level 1 looks... Anyway, like a normal skin. Oop. We go again. A bit of Tago, lovely stuff.
If only there was a good use for that BP. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything to really use it on. I spent some the other day because we thought we might be able to buy things in the store with BP and then scrap them to get polymers. But they've um, made it so you just get sod all. Even if you buy something for like 60,000 BP in the store, you get sod all polymer for it. Um, so you have to buy more crates. Just worthless, yeah. Unless there's, like, every now and again they put something in the store. It's kind of a redundant currency almost now, isn't it? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, why is my bot still saying that? I've deleted these commands, bot. Why are you... Where are these coming from? Are these bot tricks? What are you talking about? I swear, like, the bot's just got a mind of its own lately. I spend them every week on 50 coupons. Oh, yeah, I forgot you could buy coupons with them. 40k a week, went through it quite quick. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying uh, contraband crates. They're a horrendous ripoff. Boom, ba boom. Sure. No book sand, which is a shame. Unless we go for a long book sand, I guess, but I'm kind of a. Seems a bit quiet. Sounds a little too quiet for me. I'm kind of enjoying having my new phone. The battery is. The battery on my old phone was good, especially compared to the Mrs. iPhone, but um, the battery on this is. Even better. It just lasts forever. I mean, the last phone was like three years old, I suppose. I'm always kind of amazed how well the battery's doing on like this headset. It's like a six-year-old headset or something now. It definitely doesn't last as long as it used to, but I can get through like a six-hour stream with this headset. And they'll be going into that stream probably on like 70 or 80% because I would have been using them in the morning for editing and whatever. I'm amazed they still work. Yeah, that's the thing with the free coupons is you're going to struggle to ever really upgrade any of your skins. You can scrap progressives and you get schematics for it, I suppose. Better with my AK than I am with a Panzer, clearly. Um, cool. Saved by the umbrella, but not for lol. Oh, hello, there was an extended. There we go. Extendy quick. Really need that, but sure. Hey, buddy. Guess that was from out there. 
Oh, it's you. Shimmy is you. Oops. Wasn't a bad frag from him. I assume he's in that little nook. Went for the same tactic as the last guy. Hit the dirt! Cool, we'll get some more stuns. Boop. Stop, drop, and roll! <laughs> hey Jerry, how you doing? A lot of first aids. Bit many, bit many, bit much. Pixel seven A. Uh, yes, seven A is what I got. I went to the seven A from the four A, which it, the four A had been a brilliant phone, which I loved and still worked absolutely fine. I could have used it for many more years, I'm sure, but um, I needed to. I did. It wasn't five G enabled. I needed a five G one. But uh, yeah, that that phone did really did me really well, and then yeah, this is the the seven A, and the battery is even freaking better. Kind of drop shot like a cod play. Uh. I don't think prone play is the new meta. I think I'm, it's just kind of a coincidence. I think a couple of them did it really. Kind of annoying doing this, but it's a good way to quickly locate a comp on the ground if there's one about. We've got three bag me, yep. No, this. Looking for little arrows. Mind a different grip as well, really. That's the zone. Yeah. Kind of amazed not to see anyone in that corner. Just always people there. More stuns. More stuns, more wins. Was this take that? That's not what I was looking for, but still better than the Verti, the Verti Berti. We like a little half boy these days, don't we? With this, go on, show me a comp. Oh. I mean, we'll be fine without one. It's just you know, nice to have, isn't it? I do. I do bump into a few more people trying to drop shot these days than I probably used to. Um, so many flash hiders. But those guys, I think, were just kind of panicking a little bit, really, weren't they? Right down here. The aggression didn't work out. But vertical is the best. No, I prefer running the half grip these days. The vert used to be the go-to for everything, but yeah, I'm more of a half guy for spraying. 
Now I need a new bloody helmet. Never comp, did you? No. Stuns, though. What a lad. Give me all them. Um, cool. We're right for ammo. Yeah. Grab a new lid and we'll bugger off. Hopefully that coop's still there. Someone just drove a car, but I don't think it was that coop. Hey, J-Bo, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. Coop's still there. Nice. It's not the greatest gun for, um, you know, hip firing, soft aiming, kind of shooting like that at the barrel, but... uh. As long as you, if you do manage to hit a bullet, it'll do a lot of damage. What's up, Ziggy? How you doing? Again, the pan skin confused me, looking like arrows sticking out of my hip. I see what you mean, a little bit. If you squint a little bit. It's fine. It'll be fine. Man on a bike in the road ahead of me. That uh, push bike? He's going quite slow. Or is it just a... Uh, no, I think it's a normal bike. I really wish in this game that bikes worked like GTA. Like, if you hit someone with a... If you crash in someone riding a motorbike really fast, it would just, like, send them flying off the bike and they'd die. I think it's a porter, actually. Maybe. Or they switched to a porter. It's always kind of dumb if you crash in someone with a car and a bike and it's just like, yep, we're all fine. Um, what we should do is try and get an airdrop so we can get level th level th three gear. So. all over the place, weren't you, mate? Jesus. I mean, you started it. Are you good to throw? No, you threw it all at me already. Okay. Carry on. What a bloody tank. What a bloody unit. But I heard a guy close. Excuse me. You shoot me from the blue, mate. No, you're over there. Are you laying prone next to that? Oh, you are. Hello. That had to have hit him, right?
Doop doop doo. Still there. Ugh, oh, I'm terrible. Remember to like the stream on YouTube. Driving the other way. Where are you going, mate? Did he lose the tire? I don't he's just driving like an idiot. What are you doing? If you're not smiling, balls to you. Thanks to at the beard guys for my sub -tip. Uh Amen, thank you for your support, mate. Put in the legwork, didn't we? Hey Revan, how you doing? How did the rest of the customs weekend go? Yeah, great, thanks. I mean, the session on Saturday was just unbelievably good fun doing all the crazy um, custom games that we did, and then we had a lovely session on um, on Sunday playing World of Tanks and having a lovely nostalgia fest of playing the game that um, where a lot of it began for the channel. Was um was lots of fun. A well earned death, yeah. I've got to get round Hussan. Cheers, Matthew. Uh oh, we're fine. Yeah, really fun weekend. Enjoyed it a lot. The cover flare game was great. We did that basically all day. I think we did f five of those. I think I did three with Nacho and then two again later on with um, Chewy and Lamb. It was excellent. It's just such a good game mode. Uh oh. There's a dead man here. Who killed you or did you crash your truck into that? Might have just crashed. All got shot by someone over there. Cheers, wit. Pico Crush. Best game mode ever. 100%. Who'd have thought we could still find unbelievably good fun new PUBG custom game modes after all this time? I mean, with, you know, new options available, of course, but... Hey, snap. Pico, Pico Crush. I want to play Pico Crush. Nice. There we go. There's the play zone. Is this a bit open up here? I would say yes. It is a bit open up here. We haven't seen any crates. Where's the, where's the bloody crates? I said I was going to get a crate. We haven't got a ton of gas left in this. I'm just going to park up somewhere and we'll wait for the crates and then pounce. I think we would have just seen some about. You know, it's such a small zone now, but... Maybe we'll park in the swamp and prepare for a, a crate attack. Just leave my very subtle car there. Highly camouflaged. Whose back is this? Whose motorcycle is this? Oh, that was bang on all day.
Oh, that was so close. Keep me car safe. Plane. Car. It looked quite lively, that lad. So if you're not smiling, balls to you. He can't shoot the tires. Not a great place to park it, but whatever. Scottish guy. Thank you for the tier one. Brand new tier one. <clears throat> Here's buddy. How's that? I feel like crates have just been turned off. There's been nothing. It's not a motorcycle, it's a chopper. Oh my god, level 3 gear! Come on, we're getting so much. He whiffed his first FAMAS shot, so that's a reload. Oh, unlucky. Need to hit another bullet. Probably would have had it. Uh, what's up, Cat Ongo? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blackbeard Twitch, thank you again. Yeah, you pay the price for not being threed up, don't you? In the late game. Will it be adding anything from the weekend into a semi-regular rotation? Cover flare or water tanks? Uh, no, probably not. Um, water tanks, I just don't really have any interest in going back and getting into it. Um, I don't really have the patience for it. And um, I mean, the, the, the concrete thing was super fun, but when the reason we don't do customs regularly anymore is because people didn't, we didn't have many people come and play them. So... Uh, we'll just we'll stick to do it um, as occasional one-offs, I think. Baby.
Seems the only way to make customs work these days is to try and bring multiple streaming communities together. Um, yeah, I think it's probably fair, like, unless you're doing like a big organized one-off event, you know, like we did at the weekend. But it's not just not a thing you can really do regularly. I mean, you know, if you if you organize it so that you know you've got game modes that work well with 20 to 30 people or whatever the size of your you know oh my god everyone's here you know whatever size community you can get online for customs when you do them then then fine but it's kind of nice to have like just a little bit a little bit more you know like 40 or 50 people Call me game and nacho, mother lickers. Ah, should have gone with the Shotzi. Silly. Didn't trust it. Didn't trust myself. Oh, Pumpetamo. How you doing, short bus? Good to see you, mate. Annoyingly, that guy I just shot at turned around and shot me in the ass, which didn't help. That's a shame. There were loads of people there. That could have been good fun. It's like mentally windy again today. I swear it's like been the windiest freaking couple of months. You've come a long way since Frank the Tank, and we don't want him coming back now, do we? First Destin of the day. Give it a whirl. Has anyone played um, Skull and Bones? The new is it Ubisoft like piratey game? I've got a code for it to, so I can play it for free, but um, the reviews for it don't seem very uh, favorable. Favorable. It looks a little bit one-dimensional from the videos and stuff that I've seen. I'm only allowed to play PUBG and Halo. What Halo do people play these days? PUBG, Halo and Minecraft. The only games I've dedicated probably more than 20 hours to. What, like, in your life? I'm not actually a gamer. I mean, Minecraft, I've sunk so many hours into. Not of late, but back in the day. Oh, my God. Great game. Destiny took a few hours of my life, too. Always own Max. Man, fun game I used to play on Mac uh, years ago. When I was at university, I had a um, a Mac Mini. When they were like, it was like a box that was probably like the size of... Um, 
Where the fuck am I? I should look at the screen, Ben. I was busy trying to think of a good size comparison for a Mac Mini. Anyway, it's a small box that you plugged into a monitor and it's like a little small computer. Um, but I had one of those when I was at uni doing music stuff. And um, so I tried some Mac games and I had uh, Tropico 2 Pirate Cove was this fucking uh, game I had on Mac. Some of the Tropico games are great, but Pirate Cove. Oh, that was such a great pi Tropico. You ever play that one? Cut a shoebox in half. Yeah, exactly. It's not common size, though, is it? You see why I was struggling? I see you, sir. Fuck. <laughs> we had such a nice position on that guy, and then we try and jump on a, a beam and miss. A little shorter than both, yeah. Mac, Mac Mini was the OG micro PC. That was all kind of similar units like that. It was good, yeah. It was yeah smaller than an N64. I used the 2012 Mac Mini until early last summer. Upgraded the RAM and added an SSD. I remember upgrading the RAM in my Mac Mini. Yeah, that it, it, I got rid of it absolutely yonks ago, but it was a handy little thing. Uh, yes, I caved and tried it out. It's the epitome of mediocrity. It has elements that are really cool, but lacking in so many aspects. It feels like a live service money grab by Ubisoft. Yeah, it's kind of the reception that I've seen. That's um, Skull and Bones we're talking about there, by the way. But yeah, it was a good little thing. But Tropico was oh, great. They did a bunch of other ones. I remember a mate of mine I used to live with, who, he used to play the, um, uh, the one that was in like... Cuba was it like you build like hotels and stuff I think that was in Cuba right something like that but yeah the Mac mini was quite a nice way of getting to use a Mac without having to spend like thousands of pounds on a laptop or whatever or a big desktop I love those like little computers I remember like when I was originally making like videos and stuff and looking to do a bit of pc gaming and still working my old job i was looking at like getting one of those like micro what do they call it like the micro atx or whatever macro atx the little like computer cases you can get like square computer cases and then you can do like a little you know pc build in these little mini um mini cube cases they look fucking cool I kind of don't like having these ma I've got like a massive, you know, full tower fucking thing. It just feels a bit excessive. There's so much empty space in it. <laughs> just seems to be kind of what you get if you want to stick a big motherboard and a big graphics card in there. ITX, was it? Yeah, I haven't looked for ages. This PC's doing me well. It still occasionally, like, sort of just doesn't boot the first time. I have to turn it off and on, and then it's fine. But it seems to be hanging in there. I need to, uh, I need to see if I can convince a, um, you know, UK-based PC manufacturer to um, sponsor us in some way. It'd be quite handy. It'd be nice to know I had uh, access to a, a free computer if this one ever died or at some point. Because if my PC dies, then it's like, oh, I have to go and spend thousands of pounds to continue to do my job. Which is obviously um, quite quite a blow.
buddy. Surprise! Just run this. We've got got one of those, right? Need bag. Bet that guy had a bag, didn't he? I'll be back. First comp we've seen all day. Prices are going up for Patreon squads. Yeah, my computer breaks. <laughs> Would you like to sign up at the $100 a month base tier? That that dollar tier is going out the window. <laughs> we need a lot of them to buy a new PC. Yeah, it's fun um, building a new computer, but it's more fun building a new computer when, you, when you're not self-employed and another company just gives you a bunch of money for turning up at the office. That's quite nice. I feel less inclined to smash thousands of pounds on computers now. <laughs> I have to work much harder for my money. Um, we need various things. Here, man. He's on the roof, or he's here. How are you not dead, Jay? Honestly, Jesus took all the bullets in the world. Tax deductible. Oh, I, I mean, I know. That doesn't make it really... It saves me like a few quid. And it's not even taxed. It's not like I even get VAT off. I'm not big enough that I'm like a VAT registered company. I still have to pay VAT. I just don't have to take the money as income first and then buy a computer. So it saves me just a tiny amount of money. I remember it like <laughs> when I was a kid, my dad was, was an architect and he ran his own business. And occasionally he'd be like, get things through work for us. And I was like, oh, can you get this through work? And I'd be like, it's just like, it's just like getting it for free, isn't it? And it's like, well, not really. It's still just my money. It's just like <laughs> through a different mechanism. <laughs> it's like, no, it's free. It's through work. It's free if it's someone else's company. It's just one of it's just my money out of a different pocket with extremely minor tax benefits. Um whoa, okay, that's a circle. Let's um Let's go and shoot some of these guys and hopefully steal one of their cars. Hey, Freddy Krueger, how you doing? Oh, he's there, I think I just saw him. Yeah. Oh, there's two people there. They were still going at it, like rabbits. How are you still up? I'd already shot you, hadn't I? Okay, no. Everyone's a tank today, I swear. Which rock did he go onto? That's the question that I'm not really sure what the answer is. I think it was the near one. You are a smelly pirate hooker. No, it was the far one. Keep us entertaining in PUBG. 
Uh, Nick, thank you for the box. Cheers, mate. You're a legend. My computer's dead, not dead yet. You'd have to worry. You gonna get in? There's some other lad just looking at me. He's literally right there behind me. Jesus. If that guy hadn't spent fucking 10 seconds trying to get in his car, we would have been alright. That's how it was with my dad as a manager at a grocery store. He'd write down a list of stuff he took from the store for us. And they just took it out of his paycheck. So that meant free to a seven-year-old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, solos. Classic solos. I've been fighting around there like the whole game. Jeez. Here's Nick. Very generous of you, mate. Hey, Autumn, how you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Back in that solo queue. What's up, Ruga? How you doing, mate? I've absorbed so much random history knowledge off YouTube over the last couple of days while I've been redecorating and doing DIY at home. I just had non-stop like history hit videos on on my phone that I've been listening to. I had a listened to a 45 minute video analyzing the historical accuracies of Braveheart and then another one of Gladiator. That was excellent. Um, one on uh, Boudicca was very interesting. What else did I do? One about the Spartans I listened to a bit of. Uh, half an hour talking to um, one of the actors from Band of Brothers. Uh, the guy who plays... Oh, what's the Bull. The guy who has a, always has a cigar. That guy. I never take our freedom. Yeah, exactly. That one. It was, I listened to a lot yesterday. Busy days. You ever talk about The Last Kingdom? Uh, I don't know what that is. What are you up to off the stream? Um, painting and decorating. That's what I was doing yesterday. Very exciting life. I'm in your lobby. Hey, Sparky. Shit, you in my lobby. Saxons versus Danes, Alfred the Great, etc. Oh, no, that's, um, that's never come up on stream. Oddly, I'd listened to one about another thing yesterday about the Vikings, to about Vikings for a while. I just finished that series. Oh, is that the name of a series? Right, okay. Painting, wedding planning, and beard maintenance, pretty much. I just, I go running, I walk the dog, we plan the wedding. I moan at PUBG for not paying me. You know, same old. I left and joining another. Didn't want to kill you again. Thanks. I appreciate that. You should have stayed. It's a nice Erangel game. What's my favourite dish? Oh, I don't know. I like all sorts of food. So many foods. I don't think I have a favourite. We've got to get the save the dates out. we got them pretty much ready to send. Get it in people's calendars. Living the good life. I read the first four books, then watched the first three series. Yeah, I've not heard of that. They're not still not paid yet? No, it's five months today since we last got a full month pay from the creator code program. That's PUBG Partners. It's pretty wild, right? They have given us an update. It was meant to be like this week and then they've posted an update today saying some stuff and it'll be hopefully next week or something but we'll see great to see myself chewy and lamb back together again yeah it was good fun right did you know the blue zone grenade strength increases as the phase increase do that i don't think they do do they they do lots of damage from the start of the game Is that true? I didn't think that's true. 
They certainly don't mirror the damage of the play zones. Don't know why I'm landing here, but sure. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Cheeky little failed TPP attempt there, wasn't it? Nice move. Yeah, I like the little, uh, the balcony one was nice. I just kind of read, as soon as I was picking that gun up, I was like, if he's doing what I would do, he'll be jumping onto that balcony. And we managed to jump pretty much the same time as him and reload in the air. It was very clean. I think it's always five phase five damage. Yeah, it always does a lot of damage, the blue zone nades. I don't think it changes over the game. They do more damage if you do multiple, it will stack. Like if you're in two blue zone grenades at once, it will do twice as much damage or it will do, you know, you'll take damage twice as quickly, however you want to phrase it. Everyone had a fucking Uzi, didn't they? There was <laughs> a lot of Uzi going on. Morning, I, I heard of some sweet noise about PUBG 2 from Hollywood Bob. Thoughts on rumors? Uh, I don't think there's any PUBG 2 coming. Hey, Big and Beefy, how you doing? I think they'll just keep doing this as a service for one, then they'll release some other different games. going to be interesting to see what the next fun thing that comes out to play is. I was talking about um, Sons of the Forest earlier, but uh, that's only on PC. It is out tomorrow, though. So I'm quite tempted to play a bit of that. I need to see how it runs on my PC with streaming at the same time, but um, Sons of the Forest was really fun when I uh, played it with Chewy. But it's one of those games I'd probably, you know, it's probably only worth streaming if I'm playing it with someone else. I think those games get a bit boring on your own. Hell... Drivers? Divers 2 looks good. Yeah, it seems to have got a pretty good reception, doesn't it? Maybe I have to have a little look at that, but we'll see. It's been quite a nice, nice little run of games coming out over the last few months that have worked really well for, you know, making YouTube content on with Starfield and Arc Ascended and Power World. But I think there's still, uh, I think there's still some, um, some time left in uh, Power World. The YouTube videos are still doing very well on that. It's the new hotness. Yeah, it has been... Um, had a lot of people playing it. Skull and Bones seems to have gone down pretty badly. So far, I would say. But yeah, I haven't had a look at uh, Helldivers. Yeah, Sons of the Forest was really fun. I played it in Early Access last year with Chewy, and it was just like a really gorgeous looking game on PC. Love a little uh, survival game. What's up, Spidey? How you doing?
They announced um, some Elden Ring DLC today, but I never played Elden Ring. I kind of missed the missed the boat on that. Did they release that on console? I can't even know if they did. Reminds you of Destiny a little. What hell? Um, is it Hell Divers or Hell Drivers? Hell Divers kind of feels like it. I don't know. Does that make more sense? What are they diving into? They di Are they diving into hell or are they driving into hell? Nightingale came out today on PC. A lot of people seem to be playing that. Looks a bit... They are divers. Not drivers. There's been a real glut of survival games recently, hasn't there? We're diving into hell. Makes sense. Kinda. How was the special stream this weekend? Sorry I missed it. Really good, thanks, Spidey. A lot of fun. Had a grand old time. I watched Lamb ride a bicycle and then had to run. Yeah, it was really nice playing with those guys. Chewie got on for a um, a little bit at the end on the Saturday, and then on the Sunday he kind of jumped, he managed to get I think a couple of hours in, and Lamb was there for like the whole session, so we had a we had a really good time. It was good fun playing uh, playing some tanks with those guys, and some of the you know old school World of Tanks viewers as well dropped in and jumped in our platoon for a bit. It was good. Good fun. Hello, mate. Oh, he's got... Oh, it's a K9, not a shotgun. It's fine. Sounds fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. Give me all the C4. Different guy. Pile of AKs. Uh, hey, Floaty. How you doing? Good to see you, mate. Kind of quite a kind circle. Um, sure. Something on me bezer. A little bit of help. Everyone seemed to be running over here, didn't they? I'm not sure what gave them the, the idea that, that would work out for them. No sign up there. Get up, 
Get up top. For a giggle. A bit of intel. Oh, that was a man there. How many hours do I have in PUBG? Oh, I have no idea. No idea. Lots. Any chicken dinners today? No chicken dinners today. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's a gamer. Um... You have faith in me. Thank you. Maybe somewhat misplaced. I've been playing Sunken Land on PC. Lots of survival sun fun. I've not heard of that. Sunken Land. We're getting lots of like little flurries of early damage done and then bumping into a gamer and getting smoked. It's kind of fun. I feel like I've seen that game of tag playing ranked. Yeah, he was obviously a good player. Be firing the the sides well. If you get any blue zone grenades, save them till the end. What? Why? <laughs> it's not gonna. I, that's not true. They do the same damage in every face, which is lots. I guess they did do Elden Ring on Xbox then, because I've seen um, Xbox UK retweeting stuff about it, about the DLC. Could be a good one for videos, but I feel like because I haven't, I'd have to play shitloads of Elden Ring to get the knowledge to really be able to do good videos on it. Is the thing? It's a bit easier to do it with new games that come out because you're all at a kind of similar level of knowledge from that baseline when it comes out. When you jump on a game that's already been out for a year or two, then. There's a lot of catching up to do. You're not you can't go in there as an expert. Hey Mickey, how you doing mate? We go again. Last time we dropped books and saw there were about a hundred thousand people here. A bit quieter this time. There's loads of people behind me, but they all seem to be going to like random other places rather than books and Where is everybody?
Friend. Thanks for jumping in front of the window. That helped me out there. in here. a man with a machete. <laughs> Evans, what the hell are you doing? You have a gun? He did have a gun. Crazy fool. This. Not that. Is there a fucking guy up there? Oh, silly. Heard him chopping around. Eagle, how you doing? Welcome. Did I get the M4 to max? I did. I did. Took an hour on, when was it? Uh, update day, Thursday last week. And about 70,000 G coin plus about six months of saved up schematics and shit that I've got. All of that just free shit that PUBG's given me as PUBG partner. Not a penny of my own um, money spent. But yeah, we did get it to max. Hey, Free Spirit, how you doing? Oh, hail the ducky bag. Just going by the title. Of course you can have fun in solos. Well, exactly. Whether the person wants to do missions, crazy stunts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really into the missions on, um, on Rondo, it has to be said. But, uh, you know. Solos are right. I don't think I'd play it if I wasn't streaming. I enjoy it as like a kind of collaborative group experience. I don't think I'd want to sit there on my own playing solos. I was going to go and look for the drops. We haven't really hit any drops today. We need to get some three gears, the trick, right? Then we win all the games. The main issue with solos really is just that the queue is very slow. I mean, it depends on your region and the times of day that you play. Sorry, I didn't know. I did Scottish guys sub, didn't we? Um, you know, will obviously affect that. But um, with the, the queues being pretty slow in EU, it just kind of slows down the pace. And then it affects how you want to play the game because you're like, oh, if I hot drop, then I've just waited five minutes to get into a game and then I die straight away and then I wait another five minutes. But I kind of still want a hot drop. And you end up just running into like the same people over and over again. But, you know, you can make it work. Not as much fun as playing emergency flare cut other cover flares only, but still, still quite fun. Had a few angles today. It's certainly nice having the matchmaking updated in the last update. They changed it so we didn't have Rondo as a 40% weighting in matchmaking. So whilst I'm not super happy with the map pools that we've got in rotation, at least you don't have Rondo like every game anymore. In fact, we've not had a Rondo today, I don't think. 
Okay, Nick. Hey, Miggy, how you doing? You should get a copyright on Pico Crush for PGL ads into their format. That'd be much better than any of that, like, eSports shit that PUBG are doing. Get Pico Crush in there. That doesn't even need... It's not even really Pico Crush, is it? Because we quickly realised that the vehicle settings didn't work very well, so we, it wasn't Pico's only, but I like Pico Crush as a nice name for it. <laughs> there was some Pico's about. How there like multiple people here, honestly. Well, there better be a gun up here or I'm gonna have a bad time. Thanks. Ooh, basement key. Oh, he had to find a shotgun, didn't he? Imagine seeing that in comp. It'd be great. It was mostly crush, wasn't it? Mostly crush. Yeah, great game mode. I mean, it would be nice to do some more of it sometime. We'll have to, like, organize a, a special day maybe where we, uh, you know, get Nacho and I to, to both do that together, do some custom games together or do that, like, at the beginning of a session or the end of a session or something so it's kind of organized and people, like, know to come along and we might be able to get good numbers he was lucky he was, when he was just in the doorway it's like our ADS and then he started strafing around like trying to hip fire with the AK is pretty um, pretty tough unfortunately I mean at least we found the AK the other guy just ran in with no gun at all new backdrop yeah it was in the store or something I don't know I saw it pop up at some stage so I've got this new new backgroundy thing which has guns in it they're kind of annoyingly small really like the middle gun's quite big but the others are really tiny i'd rather it made them i'd rather you had less guns shown but they were bigger you know like there's loads of empty space on it i mean i guess you could have four people standing there i suppose but i'd rather just have like one gun above like their head and it'd be twice as big like scaled up so it was bigger are there any PlayStation Plus viewers here who managed to find the PUBG 2024 PlayStation Plus exclusive bundle number one? I don't know what that is. Is it in Workshop or Store or something like that? Uh, you know what? I don't know. It was in the update. It might. There's so many different ways you can acquire and buy things these days. I've no fucking clue. Was it in in here? Was it in the Workshop? Was it in the store? It's in the store. There you go. Utility. The weapon shrine. I don't know how much it was. Some money. I'm really inkling to play um, Vampire Survivors again after Lamb mentioned it at the weekend. I haven't played that game for absolutely ages, but it's such a fun little game. I'm mean, not to like, I wouldn't stream it, but uh, really, really fun game. If you never played it, oh my god, I have to get on that. Has anyone asked about Larry squads or duos? They've not, not today. I'm enjoying solos. Well, I say enjoying. We can get a couple of good games today. That'd be nice. 
kind of the way. You just have to like grind through the shit games and then you get one or two nice games. We're happy. It's just kind of how solos goes. Unless you're some kind of god gamer. I have to carry my carry myself through the day with my own conversation is the most challenging part of the day. Uh, we'll be doing Patreon squads this week. That will be taking place on Friday. Then I'll be streaming on Monday as usual. Hopefully doing some games with Nacho. And then I'm away for the rest of the week next week. So no streaming on Wednesday or Friday next week. Big fan, mate. Been watching for a while. Good entertainment from Australia. Thanks, Jerome. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Um, Moran, how you doing? Shotty C4 LMG. Go! I just... We just... You know, we take what we find and we try and shoot the baddies. And sometimes great things happen. Love the weekend streams. Congrats again on 100k. 101 now. I know. Woo. Thanks, mate. Yeah, the weekend streams are a lot of fun. Did feel a bit done in by the end of it. Sitting there for six, seven hours straight with a lot of bright lights in my face. Hundred and one K. Now I know it's going up. I'm not even trying to make it go up, it just goes up. You just you make videos, it just goes up. Did I ever play Team Fortress 2? No, I never played any of the Team Fortress stuff. It's not really my bag, like these days. I like for a long time I haven't really been interested in like arena PvP kind of games. Like, you know, round based stuff. Like, you know, when stuff comes out. There's a, you know, a, a new COD when they did a new Battlefield. You know, they're fun to play for like a few weeks maybe, but I don't really ever get particularly into those games, I think. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty old game now, right? Bit of a candy. We had a candy earlier. It was kind of fun. Can't quite remember what happened, but we dropped Villa at the start, didn't we? And then at some point we got shot. That's why I imagine it happened. Let's give. Let's do a repeat, but without getting shot. Got a few parachutes around, a few friends. Give me a good gun, that'll do. Oh, hello.
Oh, there's someone else over there. Oh no, that's bad. Ooh, it did stun him. I thought he was going to be on there and that stun would have gone here and not got him, but... We got him! Freaking three vest already, you jammy git. Another successful toss! Hey Tats, how you doing mate? Let's do that actually. The amount of times I've been killed today from like two meters away when I'm trying to shoot someone with an AR. Give me a frickin' I SMG. I flash myself more than others. It's easily done. Bit shagged. Ah, you don't want that. Not good. Not good one. Better. Pink boy. Hey, snowman. Not what I really meant to pick up. Fresh vest. Anybody else here? Probably. Plenty of cars about, should we want one at some point? Are we in the play zone? No. Can we see these though? We're not too far from it. No. If we drive this way, we might. Oh, hello, you're right there. Come out of nowhere. Who would win 1v1 out of me and Nacho? Ah, oh, me every time. He just feels too much pressure. He can't control his emotions. Like, um, you know, like a, like a Sith, right? Uh, I don't think we're going to find these crates anymore. Hey, Urban, how you doing, mate? Left it a little late. Oh, go over here. It's 
this, did I just see this guy running around? Thought I saw something. Do 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 do. I love driving these cars. Where I look like a tiny child. Hey, bike. I think we'll stay with this so we can drive by. Let's see what's going on here. We do loads of 1v1s. We just do them off stream. We don't we don't publish it as content, but I currently have a 100% win record. He doesn't like to talk about it. It's a it's a point of great shame. Hey Brian, how you doing? Next time you just stay in the game. Did you not? Did you not stay in the game? How you doing, Brian? Lovely to see you, mate. You mean in the stream? And tanks for stopping by. But mostly, stay classy. Tag them. Shown such disrespect. Finally. Hit the first shot. Uh, congrats on the 100k from Texas. Thanks, Justin. Really appreciate that, mate. Stop trying to hit him and hit him. All right. Fucking Morpheus over here. Hit the first shot. Just a lost soul. I don't know why he didn't take cover from me. He was fighting a guy at the other angle, so he took cover from him, but then decided not to take cover from me, even though I was the man shooter who actually hit him. Oh my god, I might finally get some level 3 gear. Maybe. Easy there, tiger. How come you're on uh, fancied a bit of Twitch today, Brian? Ooh. Oh no, we're too early. I wanted to pick it up and run away. I'm a Yeti! You're all terrible! Excuse me? No, oh, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> 
you absolutely mad, lad. Hello, mate. Where are you? You're up there somewhere. Are you shooting at me? Or no, are you shooting at the glider guy? Wait, that was... Is he... Shoot them! Shoot him! Thank you. <laughs> it's like that guy's not looking at me. There must be another. There is another Skywalker. You know, that famous bit. Did you drive off? Oh, yeah, you did. Everybody is dead, Dave. They're mine. They're all mine. Um, do we need anything? We need a better scope. I mean, um, and hopefully some other shit from these crates. We don't need all these frags. Oh, pick up that freaking sevens. No one's fired a gun for a while. Normally bodes well. Possibly. Frag. Uh, oh. Oh my. Alright, got plenty of ammo. Just need extended and a better scope if we can. Extended mag. Oh, that could be handy on the bodies. Yeah, that's where we're going to go and check in a sec. Thank you. Where's that other needle? Needles to say. You have a good scope. You've got a four. It's a step up in the world. And you've got that for me. Um, Cool. All right. Nice. Should we take a red dot as a backup in case we have to, um, and seven first aids? Uh, yeah, in case we run out of ammo on the P90, it just gives us like a little, um, why are you bandoing? I thought you were taking this. Whatever. Just carry him. We got the four scoop. Drive. There we go. I have a question. While a sand stream something is poor sportsmanship, is it really cheating? Um, you put yourself up. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's, it's just a fucking word, isn't it? It's being a dickhead. Um, and it's enough for the PUBG partner team to give out bans to people who are doing it. Whether you want to call that cheating or being a dickhead, I don't really care. Doesn't really make any difference to me. What are words anyway? Uh, I would say on YouTube chat. You missed out. Well, hello, friend. Honestly. Hang on, hold. If you're oh. not smiling, balls to I you. wanted yourself resi. Need a better scope. Uh, just someone asking whether I considered stream sniping to be cheating, but I, I don't think it really matters whether I 
call it cheating or not. Excuse me, who was shooting at me? You are down near that thing. I think this is it on that ridge, or is it two people shooting at me? I mean, I cannot. Oh, hello, there you are. Pointless, wasn't it? If you're lying down and you get shot, probably best to get up and move. I would agree with that statement. I would agree with that. I think we'll just stay on foot here. There could still be the guy in the train station that shot us on the way in. A bit extra. Where are you going, mate? Oh, hello. Brilliant. A lot of proners today. A lot of prony people. People hitting the deck for all sorts of nonsense. Hey, Pirate Lou. How you doing? He was keen on the tire, wasn't he? You only had eyes for my tire. Yeah, I think you're right. Using the thermal is a good way of just glancing around and seeing if there's anyone about. Because you can kind of do this and you'll you'll glimpse stuff. Like that. But it's just... I, sometimes I just can't be bothered. Because it's a bit of a faff. They're up there somewhere. I just... Well, I just heard someone. Uh, let's have a little boost and we'll have a little jog. Get ourselves out of here. We kind of need to go up that way anyway. Prone is the new standing. <laughs> standing up so 2023, guys. Jeez. Come on. Wake up. Good to see you, Lou. Yeah, absolutely, Luke. I just, yeah, just don't, don't engage with it. Oh, there's, oh, there was another lad coming in. Of course he's got a self-revive. Because everyone does. Wait for him to stand up again. Uh, was it worth it, mate? It's like, oh, yeah, I might get this one off. Oh! Oh, hello. Thank you, P90.
What this? Oh, is that a car that we saw? We've got a ton of ammo left. It's lucky you have the white gilly. Yeah, it's keeping me pretty well hidden. You'll never find me here. I think it's probably worth scanning around with this a little bit, isn't it? Is that a man or a bike? I think that's a bike. I think it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> lucky I had the lucky I had my thermal brilliant so wise You're making me dizzy. Gonna have to kind of run forward. One hay bale at a time. Slash tractor. Here we go. And ah. Okay, that's handy. Because now I know this guy is here. And the other guy is the guy we shot at a minute ago. I'm a genius! Hey. Where'd you go? I don't want to get too reliant on that thing. Must be behind that big solid thing, rather somewhat sensibly. I mean, as long as the car guy oh, there he is, nice. As I say, as long as the car guy didn't go. Oh, this might have been a bad move. No, I thought I think we're okay. We got a nice strong circle position now. Who died? Oh, this guy died. Good luck, sir. On 16 kills. See, we just need to get crates. We just need to get OP gear and level three armor, and then and then no one shoots us for the rest of the game. Pirate Lou, sorry, thanks so much for the 35 months, Lou. I missed your resub there, mate. Thank you. George Cosby, how you doing? Good morning from Kansas, home of Dorothy and Toto. I know it well, and the the band of the same name, maybe. This game is easy with epic OP gear and good favorable circles. <laughs> See, that's what I was saying earlier. You just got to grind out the crappy games and you get one good one and you're like, yeah, that was cracking. This is quite, quite the remix to listen to. I mean, 16 kill solo win is one of the biggest solo wins I've had for ages. Carry on my way Thank you for all the GG's. Yeah, happy with that. We were a bit scrappy on that last guy, but we had the position to be able to just be patient with it.
bom, bom. Bom, 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 go again. I can't remember last time I had 16 kills, probably because I never had. I mean, the rest of the games have been nothing today. We had one 7 or 8 kill, one early on. And then, um... And then that big one, look. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 0, 2. <laughs> That's 7 earlier. And then... You know, bam. Sixteen. Decent. I'm going to reward myself with a coffee, so I'll be right back in a couple of minutes. I have to stop the funky bass and something else on. Bibby. we die we die nice long queue please We're back.
Uh, what controller do I use? I use a Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. Is that what it's called? The more recent one? It's like a year old now. That one. Nothing like a high kill game to bring up the average. That's what exactly that's what I'm working on. Get the old average up. Trying to find the best dead zone for the series two. I can't remember what I run mine on. It's whatever's in my um most recent uh settings video. There should be a link in chat if you do exclamation mark settings. I used to run it kind of high to get rid of stick drift, but um, it was just, the sensitivity was just too shit. So I've, now I just, Jesus, forever. Now I just accept having a bit of stick drift when I'm in my menus and stuff and um, run it a lot lower and I much prefer that. Is fucking bit busy over here, isn't it? Knew exactly where you were going to be. Guys in there. <laughs> I don't know how how they got into that situation. Popped up out of nowhere on him, didn't he? Um, I wouldn't mind going and looting. Really, I'm not going to go and push that. How's the zone? Yeah, it's fine. This guy's not showing anything. I think let's go and um, get some shit. What dead zone do I use again? Type exclamation mark settings and it'll give you a link to my latest settings video and it says it in there. Bit much. Where was that from, Brew? Oh, you're there. Hello. Go and loot him. Sorry, Brew. GG's. That was the guy that came down from there, I assume.
Hello. You okay there? Get out, OBS. We're fine. She got some meds. Got this. Please don't shoot me in the butt, anyone. Thank you for the M4. Hello, Windows. That's the sound of OBS saying the stream is disconnected, then reconnected. I'm assuming by your your chat that it seems fine. Get rid of this blue zone, take this frag, get rid of this. Oh, I've been looting for months. Okay, there we go. We're stacked. Bob! How are you? Just saw you in the last game. You killed the dirty one that got me. How you doing, Bob? Oh, it's lovely to see you, mate. We played tanks on um, Sunday. I did a bit of a 100k YouTube subs celebration stream on saturday and sunday played pubg on saturday and then um played world of tanks for the first time in five or six years on uh on sunday for like six hours straight with lammy chewy joined for a bit as well we had um bub splatooned with us for a bit bass splatooned with us for a bit we had lots of old you know old school names in chat hanging out oh, it was glorious there's a proper little nostalgia fest the um the vod of that is on our YouTube channel and our Twitch channel from this Sunday if you wanted to skim through any of the, the tanking action. All fine here. Excellent. Yeah, I think um YouTube maybe disconnected for a sec, but it seemed to pick it back up. It probably just looked like a little lag spike. Um okay, right. We're alive. We killed two people, which is excellent. Very good job, sir. Um and we're gonna go to the play zone. We have to live. I've got my my two guns with special death boxes. Two level 10 progressive skins. It's quite something. I'm just looking to see if we see any nice little arrows pointing at loot because it could be a level 3 vest. Didn't see anything. We'll take this though. Nice. We had a great time tanking away. Oh, don't worry about that. You know, I don't think I'll be going back and playing more of it, but it was a lot of fun playing it for a day. Never played World of Tanks after watching you. I will most likely. It's a really fun game. I just, it kind of, you know, I played it a lot for a few years and I was kind of done with it and, and moved on. But um, it's a lot of fun. Not played in years. You know, it was, it was a good, a fun few years. It was a nice game, it, you know, it kind of was a similar audience, I think, to PUBG. In a... Oh my god, hello. Just absolutely rinsed me with those, that little cheeky headshot. Because it's one of those games where you can kind of do well by using game knowledge and map knowledge and that kind of stuff, rather than it being about reaction speed. You know, like like COD or something, which is a lot more you, if you have bad reaction speed or if you're, you know, if you're in your 30s or 40s or you're distracted because you've got kids running around and all the other shit that like older gamers deal with. It's hard to compete, whereas in games like Tanks and even PUBG, really, you know, you can use movement and game knowledge and stuff to, uh, to counteract that. Ugh. So hilly! Ooh. I kept trying to drive by him, but the fucking <laughs> the angle kept changing and throwing my scope into the dirt. We had some laughs, only fail at PUBG now, but I do it like a boss. That's what I like to hear. It's a very risky place to pull up, but we need it worked out well last time, didn't it? Sorry, um, Very lovely M4. Just 
just got hope. Probably gonna die, but. Please don't shoot at me. I'm very badly hurt. If I'm safe, right back for round two. The white giddy suit again, in whilst I'm in another very brown and green area. Did I change my dead zone from last season? Um, no, I don't think I've changed it for a little bit. Where did this guy on the little snowmobile go? He looked like he wanted to stop, didn't he? See. I'm not exactly sure where you are, so I'm just going to pretend everything's okay. Do you have any sevens? Look at you, lad. Barrel VSSR. That might well have been the guy that was um, shooting at me a minute ago. One guy has gone up on this. Here, isn't it? What? Where are you even shooting from? You sounded much closer than that. Look at my pants doing some work, isn't it? Just get know when to um know when to fold them. That's a nice drive by, wasn't it? What's up, Satoris? How you doing? How in the world do they see you? I'm so well camouflaged. Was it the glider guy? I didn't notice the glider being over there when those shots were coming in, but plausible. Seems like a good place to park. Ugh, fucking these bloody things. Oh, was somebody on the freaking roof? Landed there with a glider, impressively. leave you to that mate oh I've got a coffee oh, 
So much gunfire, it makes it sound like you want to get up there, but it's a man on a roof who landed there with the glider shooting at a man in a glider. <laughs> Should have made my mind up rather than shooting tires, man, vehicle. A little bit of everything. That's not a man on a roof. Everybody's shooting at me. I'm in the world to see. Oh, I need that. I'm just over there somewhere. Hello, sir. Nice. Clean. Quiet look, sir. Oh, my car. Oh, it wasn't quite as dramatic as I was hoping, to be honest. Boom, schmack. Pretty low on sevens, ain't we? Still up there, having the time of his life. I don't want to go and loot that guy, is it not? Horrible position. I think we just um, stay on foot and maybe jog towards these. We got loads of ammo for the MK. Hey, Bueno, how you doing, sir? I'm great, thank you. We don't have a thermi this time, do we? Let's drop a little bit of that. I don't think we need to carry that much. Then it's easier to pick up sevens should we get an opportunity. Really want to spray that car, but I need to save a mag in this grozer. He's fucking running already. Are you come back this way? Well. Wow. Away with that, didn't he? The old smash and grab. GG's. No one else shooting at him. Well, mm, we're going to run into the middle like a crazy man because I need to get some ammo. Thirty seconds after I dropped my cheek pad that I've been carrying for like the last fifteen minutes, but sure. It's bold, but you know, what can I say? We need the ammo. Did he manage to get everything? He left a grozer in there. Wow. So many gillies. Well, you're tooting your horn out, mate. You didn't even get didn't even get the bloody grozer. How no one's shot at me this entire time. I've just we're in like phase five here. Yay! We've just managed to loot all of those. God, okay. Let's get out of this. I would call it a kill zone, but it seems more like some sort of safe, weird safety zone that everyone's refused to uh, attack. He had an AED like everyone else. Didn't use it either. Nice. Finally. Guess that was the guy from the, uh, from the crates. It's pretty bold. I oh, know, I'm still on a white ghillie. 
It's not the same game. <laughs> Very similar, though. I kind of feel like I want to move and clear people out, but I also kind of want to drink my coffee, to be honest. He rolled up pretty confident. He did, yeah. I tagged him on the way in, which helped balance it. I guess he decided he would already committed to the pull-up and wanted to go for it. I don't really like sitting in a dip in the middle here. It just feels kind of nasty. I want to try and extract from this and fight from the edge. Kill people as they come in. Oh, this is very open. Let's get on this little ridge for a sec. Did that guy pull up somewhere? I can't tell. Right. Oh God, he's still, still going for it. Um. So we're gonna get try and get to those trees there, and then just watch for this guy. I think as we run across. Probably TPV me quite well, but. Oh, there's a TBG over there. Tinky. So we've got that guy. We've got. Tinky is over there somewhere, and then this guy up here. Who are you shooting at? Hopefully this guy, but I think he's probably shooting at Tinky. I think he's on that rock. You can always go prone, everyone else does. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think this guy, yeah, he's gone around there, okay. Oh, hello. You ended up there, did you, sir? Oh, Tinky. Can I pull this off before he gets in to fl Oh, no, he's going to just about get the Shoot him! Shoot him! Yes! He's hurt. Wrong gun! Oh, I have my MK out. I hit him as well. It's unlucky. I think we might have been able to get that. GG, Stinky. He got shot on the way in as well. It's a shame I just didn't realize we had the uh, the MK out. Uh, does anyone like this battle pass? You get nothing from it. You have to go and spend your battle pass points to unlock stuff now, which I don't bother doing. It was close. I think if we'd had the Grozer out, we'd probably have been all right. Because if that single shot we hit the MK, probably would have been two or three um, with the Grozer. Question. Do pans wear out like vests? No pans. Uh, never, never wear down in any way. Um, cool. Well, that was another fun game. Yeah, but you basically need to spend real money. Yeah, well, if you want to buy the pass and get stuff from the pass, where you spend like 10 bucks and you unlock a few bits, what well, you mean like the the crazy like crafter stuff? 
Yeah, the progressives and stuff are a rip-off. But you can probably still get a few cosmetics and stuff, I guess. Well, I suppose the crafter passes you get less, don't you? Hey, Pub Brothers, how you doing? Yeah, I, the crafter passes are not, not great. It was a good game, wasn't it? That was fun. How you doing, Boom? Lovely to see you, mate. Nice shots in the end there from Ross's Chops. in the array these super common yeah they seem really common now in solos i feel like you know a quarter of the people you kill seem to have them yeah i'd love to see him removed from the game i'm not a fan of them particularly in squads i mean solos they can be kind of annoying but the more i think it's just annoying that they're so common if they were rare like you know wouldn't be so bad, but you, you've had you have games where you'll you'll have like four or five people that you might kill that have a self resi. They're more annoying in squads, I think, because in squads you don't know when you knock someone in squads, it you means you never know if that's the last person in their squad or not. And it means the only sensible way to play squads on any map that has ADs is to insta flush, you know, everyone out in most situations. Because you don't know if they've got an AED. Or at least in solos, if you knock someone, you're like, oh, okay, they have an AED. Natural is raging about AEDs. Yeah, he's not a fan. Neither am I. Like you spend all the Springfest tokens, but still not enough. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a rip off all of that stuff. How do you upgrade progressives? I've got a bunch of progressives. I just want to upgrade the M4. If you go to the scrap broker, you can scrap progressives that you don't want and you'll get schematics and polymers back from them. And then you can use the schematics and polymers to upgrade your M4. First rondo of the day today. Can't say I'm too upset about that. Oh, just... Sure. Feels like a very disappointing map now, knowing that there's not going to be raining concrete pyramids for the entire duration of the battle. No more cover flares. No, they're still in it, but we did a fun game mode in customs on Saturday where it was like cover flares only. Um, and it was just insane. There were just hundreds of them. Hey, Flint. How you doing, mate? Yeah, new F1 season coming up soon. I 
no idea what it's going to be like. Probably um, a bit of a dull one again, but we shall see. Am I still doing customs on Fridays? No. No, I stopped doing that a long time ago. I can go through this shit, right? Right? I think I answered this question before. Oh, no, that's fine. It's the other shit. That, don't go through the other shit. Ooh, bit laid down. Ah! Ooh, three vest. Got given a battle ready kit for picking up an AR, I think there. Somewhat confusing. Who's shooting at you? Harry P on the ones and twos. Oh, that's not a good spot, is it? Play up. Oh, I have no... I was going to reload my QBZ. Is, oh, there's nothing in that. Thanks. Turn my... Oh, I have got no bag. I've got no bag. You can't play there. Don't mind me. Nacho! Hello, mate! How you doing? Someone asked who'd win in us in a 1v1 earlier, and I told them about our offline 1v1 sessions that we do regularly, that we don't ever talk about, that I always win. I hope you don't mind me sharing that with chat. Just FYI, God, there's, there's a lot of tat around on the floor here. Well, I hear this man. Oh, I don't know where you are. There's so many levels. Sins, how you doing? Oh, it was great. Thank you, mate. It was excellent. Oh, I might try and get this airdrop. Oh, I'm definitely going to try and get this airdrop. This car over here. Stadium does have a lot of loot. Uh, yeah, it was really good. We played it on... So this was on Sunday. And originally we were going to play tanks for like... A little bit. For like a couple of hours. And then switch to something else. End up playing six hours of World of Tanks with Lamb. Uh, and then Chewy joining for a bit as well. We had Bubs jumped in for a bit. Seabass was playing for a couple of hours. Thomas Board tried to jump in the party. It was great, mate. It was really good fun. It was a bit of a one-off. There were lots of people tuned in, like, you know, Jack and various old school. Tanky McTankersons were around. How do I miss all these shots, honestly? Oh. 
Should have reloaded. Oh, my, did, did he get me or did that guy just shoot me in the back? He did. I mean, GG's. We should have won that. Carbide popped in. It was good fun. It was a lot of fun. Clearly need to make it a once a year thing. Hey, maybe. Maybe. I think that's about all I can manage. One day I'll beat you in our private 1v1. We were let down by the over-shoulder ump firing there. It normally does so well. Wouldn't have missed with a tank. No, would have hit him. It's true. Saturday was epic too. Not had that much fun in ages. Cheers, Guano. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? The custom games we did on Saturday was wild. I need to get some of those on YouTube. Solo queuing takes forever. After work all day, should be home in bed. You feeling poorly, Flint? I'm sorry to hear that, mate. I hope your day goes quick. Goddamn ADs. Yeah, it was a very fun session on both days. I'm glad it was, yeah, it was um, just a, a nice, like, nostalgic vibe on Sunday and lots of crazy custom game shenanigans on the Saturday. It was excellent. We'll have to have another bash at um, the emergency cover flare only customs at some other stage. Maybe organize a day at some point collaboratively with Mr. Nacho and we can um, get everyone together and uh, do a cheeky couple of games of that at the end of a stream or something. It's probably a good way to do it rather than doing like a whole custom session or something. I don't know, just be like, oh, we're going to do like two hours of Special one-off custom games on a whatever day. And then we can drop concrete on everybody again. Yeah, tanks was a giggle. It was basically exactly what I remembered. In, in that I got kind of bored and impatient if I played anything except a like a mid-tier light tank. <laughs> Where I could just drive around in like a snake bite and have a hilarious time. And then if I was in something a bit slower and I had to actually like sit around and be patient, I was like, yeah, I don't don't really don't really care about doing this anymore. But it was a lot of fun. Oh my ping's gone back to normal this game. I had a four millisecond ping for a sec there. It's been quite high today. I think it's the PUBG servers rather than anything on my end. We had a nice balance of map rotation today, it has to be said. We had all sorts of stuff come up. Down with that. Only one rondo. Down with that. In the bin! One big win. Our 16 kill dub. Oh. I feel quite achy from two solid days of DIY. I feel shags. Boaty yard.
Doesn't look like anyone else wanted to drop boat yarn. Jesus. Oh, uh, this guy. I forgot to ask, have you hung your plaque up yet? I have. It's just above the above and behind the webcam. So if you see me looking like this, it's because I'm staring adoringly at my silver play button, which is on the wall. As I um I repainted the office on well, I had a, a big tidy up of all the crap in here, which there was a lot. It kind of was a bit of a dumping ground of stuff from when we moved house that we'd not sorted out and we'd never decorated. It was very um like I heard someone. It was like a very horrible old magnolia paint in here. So I repainted all of this. But it I was gonna just do that and it escalated into a big old clear out, repainted this whole office, discovered that in the garage all the wooden shelves on the shelving I put in had got really moldy from when it had got a bit damp. So I had to take all of them out, clean all the mold off and treat it, and then dry them, paint those with some like mold resistant shit. And then I put up a load of shelves as well, so it escalated into just all sorts. But I got a lot done. It was very satisfying. It was nice to have a couple of days of just not staring at my screen after, you know, seven days in a row of that as well. I thought I detected the glow of a plaque washing over your face. Exactly. It is. I mean, it was, it was nice. I like the, the motivation for literally redecorating my entire office was the walls look shit. I didn't want to hang my nice silver play button on my horrible magnolia walls. So now I've got that up. I've got my little shelf with all my running medals and trophies on it. It's very loud. Very loud puddles. And um, and I've got my skate, my PUBG skate deck out of the... Destin PUBG skate deck out of the garage. And I'm going to get that up on the wall as well. Which should look pretty mint. Pretty bloody mint. I'll share a photo once I've got it all up. My walls look shitter than my play button. Well, the play button's very nice and shiny. The walls were were not so. I want this crate, but I don't have a car. So the downside of this place is it's not brilliant for freaking vehicles. I don't know if there's another handy spawn around but you pretty much have to run to this absolute <laughs> awful spawn here it's a fixed spawn but it's very risky but whatever we're gonna commit we're even just gonna run in a straight line so someone can pick a really nice satisfying headshot on me if they're looking because i'm nice like that i'm a team player which side of the river is that on i think it's this side Got to go through the red zone and through the ruins. There is these garage across the street, but there's this. Yeah, there's that one which sometimes has a vehicle, and there's that one which is in the open but is a fixed spawn. I vote for chroming your walls. Do you find yourself still enjoying PUBG? Or PUBG, are you ready for something new? Um, I mean a bit of both. I enjoy PUBG, but I'm definitely. I mean, I'm always ready for something new. You know, that's why. I've made a load of power world videos that's why i made a load of starfield videos you know um it's harder to find things that i think are good for streaming con con consistently than it is to find things that you can make youtube videos on shit where was this crate i didn't get a number on it that was silly it was kind of this way balls and ass Oh, hello. Why did that just do a weird thing? Oh, it blew up in the red zone. I think it was kind of this way. Oh, I'm normally so good at looking at the compass and I freaking forgot. Could be anywhere over here. I didn't think it was this 
far away. It might be down a little dip here or in the river. It's going to be back there. I think we would have seen it. I don't see any red. Got to go up the mountain. Yeah, but the red would have stopped by then, so we wouldn't, we wouldn't see it. I think it was more left towards the hill. I'll just go back on the YouTube bod and look. Where's my own stream? These are three unique. Shut up, Manscaped. These are three unique. It was, it was nice. I like the run a straight line to someone can pick a really nice, satisfying headshot on me if they're looking. Because I'm nice like that. I'm a team player. What is that? That's like which side of the river? Slightly to the left of West when I was so I was about 260 when I was leaving Boatyard. So maybe it was Mountain. Cunning. Does this count as streamer loot? So let's get back to where we were. Full CSI mode. Yeah, there's not much else can on. We might as well investigate, right? We've got gas. Where did we come in? We had to kind of dodge round ruins a little bit, didn't we? Like, where was... That was kind of, we were sort of back there, and it was like, where is that on? I think it's this side. Hard to see. Gotta go through the red zone and through the ruins. Can pick a really nice, satisfying headshot on me if they're looking. Because I'm nice like that, I'm a team player. Which side of the river? Yeah, it's kind of slightly to the left of the west thing when we left um, Boatyard. Which is a bit more that way. So kind of, yeah, might, I mean, maybe up the mountain. Hey, Tinky, GG's, mate. Oh, so annoying. I switched, like, I had my MK out, and then I even hit you with a bullet from it. I didn't, I thought I had my Grozer out. If I'd had the Grozer out, I think I probably could have got the, got the knock after the, uh, the self-resi, but GG's. Did you go on and win? I think it could be up here on the side. Then it's stream sniping himself. CSI investigates. Gareth Keenan investigates. Nice. No, you lost. Oh, so you killed me for nothing. Our numbers would count for nothing. Um, oh, we only have a 2x on my gun. So let's try and improve on that. We've got a three bag. Yeah. How do we get in the basement? They still have a basement? Yes. Hmm. Uh, 
Um, we still need a better scope. I think we just drive around and shoot someone, and then they'll have a scope. It's normally the normally a good play, isn't it? It's much more fun than looting. Yeah, quite handy on the old YouTube live to be able to just scroll back nice and easily. You can kind of do it on Twitch, but it's fiddly. You have to load up a new page and start watching the, the video replay back and then scroll back on that. I hear a car. Aiming cancelled. The guy with a ghillie suit. Where the fuck did you find that? Is there a ghillie in my crate? Have there been two crates already? No. A flare? It's very early for... Where did this man get his ghillie from? Oh. I don't know where he got that ghillie. Definitely had one, didn't he? Didn't have a gun. Was there a giddy in the box that I left? Then he came from like the opposite direction, didn't he? Oh, did you get him in the secret rooms? Ah, nice. I never really used them. I've only been in them once or twice. I don't really know where... I think I know where one, maybe two of them are. I know the, the one near um, Hall of Fame I've been in a couple of times. Just because it's kind of, it's somewhere that you like drive past all the time. We go again. Hey Choco, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cheek little Destin. I think we've only had one on here all day, haven't we? It's been a real mix of everything today. A real lovely mix. Come on, Destin. Nice little plane. Has all the favourites on it. Well, two of them. The only two. Crumply crate. Something that you could do the old um, teammate vault onto here. If you were in this um, very obscure place. Man, what's, there's a little island up here. I wonder how many players have ever set foot on this island. I know I've never have. Quick, we can make it. I mean, theoretically, there's a chance you could have a circle end here, maybe? I don't know. I think there's so much water off to the sides. I don't know if you'd... Has anyone ever had a circle that's finished like on the wind farm islands? could probably happen i can't remember if i've ever i don't think i've ever had one do that maybe i don't know i seem to remember a custom game maybe we had one that went over that way but that might have been like a weird ripton zone we did or something there's another island as well i'd love to see a zone go out here it'd be crazy you do get a lot of like north zones i feel in destin but I've had loads of zones go into this big swampy area, like here. Seems to be quite quite a common ending, I would say. 
Compared to the south of the map, I don't think it seems to get as much. I guess because there's water here, it maybe pushes the circles away from that south west corner a bit. I don't think the circle could jump the water just to end up there. Yeah, I'm not sure it would manage to get onto the, even the big islands. I think it would struggle. I mean, maybe if you had like a circle that was like ended up kind of around here, it could maybe shrink onto this one, perhaps. You had to finish an assembly yard. Yeah, I think I've had a finish there before. Boop. Oh, where is it? There. I lost it. I wish they did final circles and map edges sometimes. Yeah, it'd be nice to see them more often. It's just the nature of how circles are calculated from the start of the game is that they all, you know, mathematically cluster towards the the middle of the map. But I always thought it's a shame. I remember seeing a thing years ago that kind of talked about the maths of it and saying it you'd get a lot more variety on, um, you know, on circles if... What guns have we got here? If it worked out the final zone first... And, you know, obviously didn't tell you, but. I don't know what gun he got. You do? Um, if he worked out the final zone first and then, you know, and then kind of showed you uh, and then it kind of, you know, did the circle still as you see them, they'd look exactly the same in the normal order. But because it already know where the final circle was, there'd be an even chance of that final zone going anywhere on the map. I think could be quite interesting. And then you'd get low, and then the circles would go all around the edges of the map into all sorts of weird places where you don't normally see them go. I think that'd be kind of cool. But I mean, obviously, they'll never change that, but it would be kind of cool. I don't know if that would make them less interesting because they'd be less rare, but I think more variety in late game circles would be a, a fun thing. Because some those are some of the most memorable games I think I've had are ones where you have the like you're like oh I had that finish in that weird place where hardly ever the circle hardly ever goes you know right up on the coast or on a weird little island or something they should try it out. be chaos lots of players swimming for their lives boats to become a premium i'm down let's go crazy new zones okay, another little go on destin in the rain like an Olympic swimming event. Olympics this year. Looking forward to that. When does that kick off? In the summer, I guess. It's the Summer Olympics, right? In Paris. I don't know what, I can't remember what time of year it normally is. Like what month? I mean, I know when the summer is. Love a bit of Olympics. Mostly just the track stuff. I like watching the track and field. 
Do you still have the fast arm flapping dance? Or like the the wacky jacky wiggly one? I don't know what one, what one you'd mean. Like all sorts of nonsense there. And it's so sad about Kelvin Kipton dying the other week. I was absolutely, I was absolutely stunned by that. Like it was, he was just going to do so much in marath men's marathon running over the next, you know, ten years, twenty years. We were just getting ready for him to come and annihilate the Olympics, annihilate the sub two hour marathon, take over from Kipchoge. Yeah, it's crazy. Olympics is great. Yeah, I'm a big fan. What happened to him? Kelvin Kipton, he got, died in a car crash last week. July to or end of July to August, Paris States. Nice, thanks, Floaty. It's nuts. It's hard to, uh, to overstate, like, what he was to marathon running. It's, you know, it's and he was just dying his career. It's like the equivalent of Usain Bolt being killed, you know, dying after he'd done his first year in, like, professional sport before he did, you know, went and annihilated every record in history in 100 meter and 200 meter running. You know, it's, it's at that scale, but for marathon running, it's crazy. Track and field and cycling. Congrats on 100k. Thanks, Mr. PUBG Lookup. Appreciate that, sir. How you doing today? Doing great. Another day, another not pay out. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty used to it now. Wee. Am I going to the Olympics? No, I haven't made any plans to, so... Um, I don't think that'll be happening. Need to stop spending any money th on anything for the next year as we've got our wedding coming up next year. We go again. Oh. I think he's just chilling there with a shotgun, to be honest. <coughs> hey, buddy. That fooled you, didn't it? Wasn't ready for that play. I clicked on this live stream the moment you dropped in. What's what's wrong with that? Ooh. Need a bag. Um, have you used the teammate boost vault in a real scenario yet? No. Um, I've not. I can see the vehicle one being like useful in occasionally. But um the the teammate one I don't think is gonna be uh particularly helpful. It's very, very limited situations in which it's actually useful. Don't really want that. I want this bolty anyway. Oh I just yeah, bear. Uh, 
Uh, there was another guy that dropped to the other end of town. We should be alert for. I was just fanning around my loot for a minute there. Not what I meant to do, but we'll start it out. Oh, I needed that. Where did this other guy go? He had a fancy colour parachute on. Is there a Patreon sub tier to get invited to the wedding? We haven't quite got that desperate yet, but I will I will keep you informed. He dropped over there somewhere, but I don't know where he went. Isn't there some investigation about Kipton's death? Found play suspected. Uh not that I not that I'd seen. I haven't heard anything more about it though. Where are you, friend? Oh, hello, you're there. I assume you saw me. Oh, you stood over there. Hello. Hello. Uh oh, the ice cream man's here. The ice cream man, he cometh. Need some more ammo for this um, MP5, really. One table just for Patreon subs. <laughs> Come, buddy. Look, you can see me. Come on. Vickers has been nice. Yeah, I haven't, haven't used it. I've only played around with the teammate thing, like... Um, Briefly with, with that, so. Flash him. I just want to shoot him in the head. Still just stood there. Uh, we do have to move to go to the play zone. Don't tell him about that one. Oh, it's a great shot. GG's. Kill feed full of clan TBG, was it? I hadn't even seen. Who was in there? Man, the uh, Dragonov is nasty when you're in that range where it can one-shot you. It's essentially like having a DMR bolt action. Brutal. I was going to go and get me ice cream van. Yeah, it doesn't really explain how to do the, um... I mean, like everything in PUBG, it doesn't explain how to do anything anywhere. You just have to kind of... You either know because someone told you or you watched a YouTube video or the patch notes. Read the patch notes, but... Yeah, you wouldn't really, um... You wouldn't really know how to not use a lot of these things. I've had so many people asking how to do the teammate help up thing, but it's, it's so, so limited in where you can use it. I wouldn't really worry about it, to be honest. Yeah, it was rough. It's a great shot from him, though. We should have dropped him when he is running through the open, but I'm just not really used to using the MP5 with a 3x like that, and it was hard. It took me a second to get the lead, sort of, the lead on. If it'd been like an M4 6x or something, I think we would have been okay. You can kind of beam with that from that range, but nine mil, you have to aim way ahead. It'll go the way of the drone. I mean, at least the at least the vaulting is still in the game. Have we come across the bread guy yet? Well, the guy that I shouted at for from TBG for flushing us out. 
and was going to kick him from the clan and then realized he wasn't even in our clan. I mean, they, that does kind of show the problem of having non-unique names, though, which I think really sucks. Like, it's nice in games. I like having, like, unique clan tags. And then you could be like, you know, we're the TBG clan, rather than there's, you know, there's like a dozen TBG clans. <laughs> but you see someone from one clan, and you're like, oh, I saw one of your clan mates. They're like, they're not my clan mate. There's like, you know, 400 noob clans or whatever. TBG TM. <laughs> How do you use the vault over a vehicle? You just try and jump at a vehicle. Just like mantling anything else. You just walk up to it and press A and you'll like climb up onto it. It was funny in custom games on Saturday. Some of the, um, on some of the maps, it would just randomly start you with tactical gear still. Like when we played on Sanok and... What oh, other map did it do it on? I can't remember. Destin, maybe? But a couple of maps with my pre... I don't know it's because of my my presets we had set up. But a couple of the maps you loaded up, you just have, like, the tactical gear box in your inventory and you could get a drone out or the EMT or whatever. So they're still, like, in the, you know, in the game files. They've just been disabled. Do 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 skibbity ba 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 One guy and a bunch of lads going ruins. They freaking love it. I probably switched that out. Hello, Alphas. Oh, it's handy. Come up to say hello, mate. Everybody. Well, he got absolutely melted, didn't he? Cool. That's that. Right. There you go now. Um, are we in the play zone? We are. All right, let's just go get a vehicle early. We'll try to do crazy tastic times that didn't work out so well. Um, I mean, most of the day, really, when we've attempted to get crates, they've actually uh, not gone brilliantly. Apart from the Vikendi game, the one win, the big win that we got, we um, we did actually uh, do quite well on that one. We'll just stick with this. 
be fine for now. Let's see if we get a crate. I mean, we got loads of... Those two Vikendi games, were they in a row? Maybe they were. The, the, I had the white ghillie and lots of crate loot in both. Go over there. I think he's just gone in that house there, which is fine. We can just go get this cart. He sounds like he's kind of busy. I think I heard the plane annoyingly. Oh, it's so far away. Oh, we're we'll never getting this crate. Probably already dropped and probably miles away. Well, we'll drive up there anyway. You never know. Might get lucky. I think he died of cardiac arrest. <laughs> yeah, it certainly um, took him by surprise, didn't we? I mean, there was the plane line. It was kind of... Pfft, I mean, I I totally respect just keeping the finger held down, but it didn't it didn't work. Thanks. Just keep keep on running. <laughs> the bullets keep flying. Give it a whirl. Hey, wait, how you doing? You got me back into this. Ah, uh, nice. I hope you're enjoying it. A lovely bike. Oh, no, it's a UAZ. Kind of look like a bike from a distance. Look, we can show you. We'll show you climbing on a vehicle. Ta-da. Look at that. Amazing. Maybe we'll take this. My car's a bit shagged. I find a uh I find a bike and we can go for the next crate. It's a pretty pretty north north zone, so we like to see. Something a bit a bit out there. I found the program I got from Tankfest that year with the abuse you wrote on it. Oh my god, what did I write on it? <laughs> I blame Lamb. <laughs> you can slide over the hood though? Can you? I think you just vault onto it, wouldn't you? That thing? Just do that. I think that's the that's the thing. Back on the road. Um, no, let's get let's get in the middle because we'll have the the next crate will be sometime in the next two and a half minutes when it's so we might as well get ourselves central even if we haven't got a bike we can hopefully get number two that first plane was pretty pretty rough no the climbing onto vehicles was with the new update you couldn't do that before you could like jump onto them but you can actually mantle them like they were a, you know a ledge or another a window or whatever Where's the middle? Well, we're kind of pretty near it, to be honest. I think we get up on this hill. It's going to give us a good vantage point, and we can looky-looky for the plainy-plainy. Not that plain. Here, yeah. We'll get higher.
Ooh, is that... Do you get spawns here? There was a coop there last time, wasn't there? Is that someone's bike or a sp I think it's a spawn. Oh, it's mine now. Now we listen. I hear it. There it is. How do you get the plane, the car rolling and oh, change seats to shoot? Uh, you've got to keep the accelerator held down until you've switched seats. So you're holding the trigger. You tap A to change seats and then you let go of the right trigger. If you let go of the trigger at the same time as you change seats, then um, you'll just slam the br the handbrake on. What do we want from this? Grozer would be nice. I mean, I feel like MK14, the Mook14, I feel is probably the... I'd probably something I would have the highest success rate with. Oh, there's a, there's a bloody guy here. Full send. MG3. Come, mate. Come have a little... Come to party. Not driving anywhere now, are you? It's about three weeks to reload that. Seem to have no inclination to uh, attempt to move, did he? Some sevens for me? Yeah, a little bit. We need to go and get some more though. The stun was nice, yeah. We made a lot of noise, so someone else could have rocked up here. We need to be a little cautious. We get everything? Yes. Is there another plane already? That's got to be a flare, right? Yeah, there must be someone's flare outside the zone. Hey, Phil Woody, how you doing? Nicely smoked that for you. Yeah, worked out well, didn't it? Very kind lad. Uh, where are we? We need to get some ammo for this big, this big gun. Is that, an, is that another freaking plane? How many planes are there? There's no sevens down here. Cheers, Barmy. How you doing, sir? Is that the next crate coming already? I mean, it, it must be. I don't, there's no flare up. Jesus, that was a tiny gap between planes, wasn't it? I've only just got this one. All right. We'll keep it going. P90, P90 would have been nice. I do very well that uh, as well. I mean, that was the win we got earlier. The 16 kill win was P90. I had to end up with a P90 and an MK14. And it was just glorious.
take that. Oh, there's a man over there, I think. I want my bike back, please. Still need some more sevens. Maybe get another white ghillie. <laughs> I'll take it. I can rock that look. I'm a man of fashion. I need to kill someone that's got loads of sevens. That'd be great. Like this man. Hello. Oh, can we hit him in the head as well? We hit him in the head. Oh, Jesus. So unlucky. Hey, Barnabas. How you doing? Jack Burton. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Super unlucky there. I need like one more bullet. Jeez. See, if I switched to see if I had a stun, but I had two C4s. <laughs> Wasn't what I was expecting to see in my pocket. Uh, nice, right, well I think that's a good stopping point for today, it's been a fun little solo session, we got one nice big win in there, which uh, I was very pleased with, so nice to make that happen, the rest was a bit wishy-washy, but we had a good time, and we got that 16 kill one done. Uh, nice, I'll be back on Friday, I'm going to do Patreon squads, that's going to be on Twitch and YouTube as normal, so I'll see you on Friday for Patreon squads, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And a lovely Thursday, and I'll see you all on Friday. Thank you all the support today. Shout out to all the sub gifters, the subs, the patrons, uh, Nick and Swarley for dropping big donos earlier as well. Really appreciate that. And I'll uh, I'll see you all later. Bye bye.